Hello. How goes it? The question I always ask, but I'm always curious. Uh, yeah. How's everybody doing today? As usual, I hope that it's going well. If it's not, I hope that it changes pace as soon as possible. Today, we're playing some Death Stranding Director's Cut because it just came out today. Uh, already got it installed. It's it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing with uh, this game. Uh, I kind of talked about it in the past. I talked about, you know, because we're going to be playing it today. Um, I, so I've talked about it. But um, the way that they did the upgrade for it, because Death Stranding was on PC already. It was just the normal version. Uh, and then the upgrade to PS5 happened like... I want to say a year ago, it probably was like not quite a year ago, but it might have been. I don't really know. Um, they basically did the upgrade to Death Stranding uh, for the PS5 upgrade, and it was the director's cut with new content and everything, right? Um, and then for PC, it was like, oh well, we're we have no we have no news for that for the longest time, and then like a couple of months ago, they were like, okay. Now it's coming to PC, which was not a surprise because Death Stranding came to PS4 um, and then it came to PC like a year after that. Um, and then it was like, okay, here's the director's cut for the PS5 upgrade. It will probably come to PC and it'll probably be like a year down the road or so. And that's basically what happened. Um, but with the PS5 upgrade to the director's cut, if you had the PS4 version, uh, you could do like a $10 upgrade. Um, but for the PC version, it's being published by a different, you know, publisher. Because um, it's like, it's just Sony for the PlayStation version. But for the PC version, it's a port done by 505 Games, which have done a lot of other ports as well. They did uh, Control by uh, Remedy, um, which I also love. It's a really great game. Um, but with that, they screwed it up when they did the Ultimate Edition for that one because they made it so, like, people had to, like, rebuy it, like, at full price. And there was a way to get an upgrade, but it was really shady. So people weren't confident with the director's cut if it was coming to PC. Um, but luckily they did it pretty well. Um, but you had to have like the game installed, like the base game installed to be able to get the upgrade price. Um, otherwise you don't get it even if you own it. You had to have it like actually installed on a machine, which is really weird. So whatever, it's fine. It worked out with all that. Um, and you can export save data and everything. So technically we could continue from my second playthrough that I did quite a while ago. Um, but I think for the sake of just having everything in the nicer stream format, the better quality and everything, plus that stream, like, you know, that was when I was doing multi-streaming, um, obviously not affiliated with Twitch at the time. So I was not tied to any sort of uh, exclusivity stuff. Um, but essentially, I was doing multi-streaming at the time to YouTube and Twitch through another service. And uh, it would drop out all the time. So like some parts of it would be on Twitch. Some parts of it would be on YouTube. It was kind of weird. Um, I don't have all the base files and everything still. So I'm not going to like try to like force people to go and find bits of other content just to watch, just to catch up. Um, plus stuff is a little bit different for the starting. As far as I'm aware, there's like different like tools and stuff you can get right at the beginning that kind of change the way that it plays a little bit. Um, again, this is what I've heard. I don't know how true it is. Um, but I feel like that would be kind of cool to explore anyway. So I just want to see how the whole game really like changes with the new little bits of mechanics, any bit of polishing, any new content. Um, there's also like cyberpunk stuff that they added that, that was pre director's cut that was added in the PC version. Um, but I never played with any of that stuff. I never got any of that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think there's like some way to like hack with cyberpunk stuff it actually has like mechanical stuff it does which is crazy um apparently you can like hack the the scanners in a mule area with the cyberpunk stuff so that it doesn't even go off kind of like hacking the cameras in cyberpunk it, it's cool i i like those tie-ins um and there was the half-life stuff which i didn't get fully we did get the gravity gloves which were pretty cool and very useful for the junk dealer section um because you're able to just pick up the packages from, like, a couple meters away without actually having to, like, go next, quite next to it. So it made it a little bit easier to cheese. But that was cool. I, I like that that was kind of an ability um, that you could do. It, it's not really, like, cheesing it or, or cheating it or whatever you want to call it. 
it was just kind of like doing it in a cool way. It felt cool to use. It was a really cool little mechanic and it was still challenging. Um, so there's all that challenging stuff we have to get back into again that we did before. Um, but whatever, you know, it's, it's the fun of the game and, uh, I do want to play it again. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious to play some of this. I don't know how much we're going to get to it today. Um, cause I'm probably not going to skip the cutscenes. Uh, just because I want somebody to be able to pop into here. One of you to pop into here if you've never played this game to be able to experience it fully and understand the story. Um, the hardest thing for me personally is going to try to explain the story as much as I can without spoiling too much. Um, no guarantees that I won't. I'll try not to. Um, but yeah. Just know that this game is also like a pretty chill game. It's like not it's not a game that I would go to somebody and be like, this is like action heavy. This is a game that's like going to be like super intense. Oh, my God. Like it has those moments. But overall, it's not that kind of game. It's very like I've always tried to think of the best way to explain Death Stranding. The best way I can think to do it is like uh, it's a game where combat does happen where there are tense moments, but really most games are like, if you go on a journey, the things you remember are the things that happen between it. Like think about Breath of the Wild. You know, you don't really remember going from like this tower to that tower. You you might remember the first time you did it, but after that you're teleporting around or you're like, you know, trying to get to one specific spot and you're not really thinking about going from one spot because you're like, how do I just use Rivali's Gale to go up and you know, soar up and then gl like paraglide half the way or more to my location. I'm there now. You don't really remember that whole thing. Like you remember you've done that, but you don't remember the specific ones every time. With Death Stranding, it's very like you can take shortcuts and th those will happen. But with some things, you can't do it. Um, And you have to like there, the game is really a lot about traveling and like just cleverly planning your routing from one place to another. And so a lot of the the actual like challenge of the game is just like being as efficient as possible getting from one place to another and so you really remember a lot of your actual like journey rather than just like the moments that happen between it like if you're attacked or something which is still memorable but you you remember the whole thing and so it really like sticks with you um i very much like the game it's one of my favorite games uh personally um just because it's it's a bit different it's cool it's chill i like it i think partially too i was very like when I played it, I was in my second year, second year, third, third year, geez, I was in my third year of college, it was being pretty stressful, there was a lot of uh, stuff going on, and I was just working constantly, and so being able to play Dust Stranding and kind of just still focus on it, but like chill out in a way was really, really cool, it kind of gave you that extra like bit of satisfaction that you were able to just do something else for a little bit, I don't know. I like the game. I think it's pretty chill. I can prove that I like the game a lot because, uh... Ta -da! Ta -da -da! I have BB. Bring me back my BB. If you haven't played the game, it makes no sense. Um, I have BB. Or her other name that, if you haven't played it, you don't know yet. Um... Yeah, it glows. It's cool. This is from the collector's edition. I didn't get it initially. I'm not like super high on collector's editions or anything like that. But like. Because here's the thing with collector's editions. It's only good if you get like a game that's going to have a sequel that the first game was great. Like if you played like Batman Arkham Asylum or something like that. Right. Like if you go into Batman Arkham City and you're like, oh, I want to play that. That looks great. Then I can understand getting into the collector's edition, but like buying like the Batman Arkham Asylum collector's edition. I don't know if there was one, but if there was, then it's like, what do you do? Like, I don't know. Like what happens if it's bad, right? Now you have a collector's edition for a terrible game and now it has no value. It's really stupid. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. Right. So I didn't buy the collector's edition. I just got it on digital when the game first came out. And then somebody locally was selling like a sealed like collector's edition for a PS4. And I was like, and it was like regular price. They didn't upcharge it or anything. And I'm like, that's awesome. So I bought it from them and I got it. Very nice. 
Anyway, BB. BB is just going to be to the side here. At the microphone stand, sorry. Um, BB is just going to be to the side here. It's my good luck charm. Technically, the actual, the, the, the Ludens figure is the good luck charm, which I also have, but I don't have it up here because I was afraid I'd lose it. Um, anyway. Just going to have a drink of water. We're going to get into this. Uh, it's the first time I've used a controller on my current PC. It took me like 30 minutes to get it paired. Because it's been so long since I've had to pair it to anything, I'm like, I don't know how to pair it. Uh, but I figured it out. Uh, but it turned off during the time that I I literally started the stream and it turned off immediately. Um, and it just it just coincidence. It has like a sleep time on it. I tried to avoid it, but it just did it anyway. So yeah. Uh, hopefully we're fine. I charged it, so it should be fine in battery. Hopefully. The charger I put it on it does have a tendency not to charge it, but it charged my headphones, so. Should be okay. If it's not, this can take batteries, so I just will have to fetch those. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's get into the game. Um, hopefully the audio is going to be okay, too. Uh, it's a little loud, like, for my own ears, but that's fine. I can live with that. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Also, do you like the Shot to the Moon shirt? It's really nice. This is the, the fancy gold one, the, the Founders one, or whatever we called it. I don't know if we called it that. I can't remember. It was like one of the first shirts we did. I only got it like a couple weeks ago. But yeah, it's nice. I like it. I think it's being cut out a little bit by the green screen because it's gold and that's kind of a close color of the green, but... Yeah, it looks a little bit more silvery on camera, but it is very, like, gold-looking. Very nice. I like it a lot. It's cool. Uh, I have to get to Death Stranding. My Steam is literally... Steam. <laughs> here it is here. So it actually loads as two separate games, which is really, really cool. I wasn't sure if it was going to be, like, an upgrade thing. Because here's the thing. There's another game that did that, too. It's on my games. I don't have a lot of Steam games compared to like people that are like, oh, I have like a thousand games in my library. I'm like, I don't, I don't have that. Where is the game I'm looking? Uh, where's the game I'm looking for? Mark of the Ninja. Yeah. So I had this for years and years, uh, and then eventually they did uh, Mark of the Ninja Remastered, and you could just get a free upgrade if you had this, or not a free upgrade, but like it was like a five dollar upgrade. Um, and they're two separate games. So there's some other game that I don't know if I have it, but there's some game that I had that got like an upgrade remaster path like that, but it just replaced the game. I don't remember what it was, but anyway, I like having two separate ones so you can still play the original one. Um, but yeah, I have some of the achievements now. I have I have half, almost half of the achievements already just because it, it transfers everything, even achievements, which is really cool. Uh, I transferred the save over just to make sure it worked. But what's really funny, I meant to start my controller. Hopefully it pairs automatically. It did. Yeah, hopefully it should work. I might have to restart the game. I may have to restart the game. <laughs> Could be okay though. Okay, it's fine. We're we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It does have a different like menu that's like more of a sunset and everything. I wasn't sure if it was going to actually change the menu, but it did. Um, but literally like everything is basically the same in terms of this menu other than like load game from Death Stranding and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think we're good. Uh, I was about to hit continue. We're just going to do a new game. If we're good with that, let me know if the game is too loud, I'm too quiet, whatever it is. I will make sure to tweak it, but... Uh, yeah, um, I'm going to be eternally confused, too, because my controller is set up to be, like, Xbox configuration, so, you know, like, A, B, X, Y, instead of the Nintendo, like, B, A, Y, X. And I'm very used to playing it on that Nintendo configuration, but I want to get more used to an Xbox configuration, so I'm doing that on purpose. Um, anyway, let's start it. I'll stop. I'll shut. I'll shut up. Uh, okay, so we can do very, there's very easy, what? Recommended the, for those with little or no action. Perfect, guys, this is what I'm going to need, otherwise I, I won't be able to play the game. 
Um, yeah, I'm between hard and very hard. I'm not gonna play on normal. Okay. The only reason battle will be more challenging, but completing the game at this difficulty level will make you envy all of your fellow boarders. Oh, make you the envy of all your... Okay, gotcha. Uh, I think I'm just going to do hard. Um, very hard's cool, but I think hard would be better just for the fact that I think... I want to make sure we're able to get through it for the stream. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, text size, normal or large? I'm just going to do normal. Cool, cool beans. Cool stuff, baby. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm excited to get into it, dude. I feel like I'm playing a console game, yet I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I kind of am. I kind of not. Like, here's the thing. When it comes to controllers, by the way... Oh, we have to set screen brightness. I'm going to set it to... Okay, this looks pretty good for you guys, like somewhere here. It's a little dark for me, so I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. I think that should be good for you guys. It's a little bright for you guys, but that's okay. You know what? I'll do that. I'll do that. I can't make up my mind. It's not like you can't change it. Uh, I don't know what the birthday is for. I don't think the birthday even matters. It's just like some weird thing. Other than the, like, Easter egg you can get for your birthday. My birthday's May 12th, by the way, if you didn't know. I'm a Taurus, which means you can't change my mind on anything, except for the fact that most people can. I'm stubborn. Alright. I remember when uh, Kojima Productions launched this teaser. It was like, all right, well, Kojima Productions, they've got this teaser out now. This has something to do with Death Stranding. It's got the whale in it. It must mean that you go to space. That's Norman Reedus. It literally has nothing to do with it. Oop. The rope, along with the stick, are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick keeps the bad away. The rope used to bring the good towards us. They were our first friends of our own invention. Wherever there were people, there were the rope and the stick. From Kobo Abe's Nawa. Once I probably said that wrong. An explosion. A bang which gave birth to time and space. Hello, Rita. Once there was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. Nice. And then came the next explosion. Right. Wait. Time to get copyright straight. Low roar wants me to crumble. Yep. <laughs> They're gonna copyright strike the crap out of this, guys. Yeah, well, luckily we're not monetized on YouTube, and, well, I was going to say I upload everything to uh, the Twitch VOD channel, but it's, uh, it's a little lacking recently. Oops! Don't worry, we'll get stuff updated soon. Some of these initial shots look like actual photos. And then this... I swear those first shots until this shot are photos, because this looks a little bit more like the gameplay. It still looks great. Don't get me wrong. But this looks more like gameplay. Because it is. <laughs> still looks really good. Look at this footage. It's great. I was actually going to... Um, Put on some NVIDIA like game filters just to turn up the sharpness a little bit because those filters actually look really good uh, if you like make them really tame and just add like a little bit of sharpness it looks like extra like fancy DLSS um, but unfortunately you can do it in Death Stranding but the director's cut is not registered as a NVIDIA like compatible game yet even though it's basically the same game so you can't do it <laughs> so you can in Death Stranding but you can't in the director's cut so oh well not really necessary, I just wanted to spruce things up a little bit. Make it look a little bit sharper. 
you guys probably wouldn't have noticed much of a difference. It would have looked way more subtle on stream just because of the bitrate and stuff. This game looks great though, I love it so much. This has been forever since I played, so put that hood up, man. I never realized that his hood is actually not a, uh... It's not an automatic one on his, like, porter one. His later outfit, it's just an automatic thing, but here it's not. Alright, Mr. Ritus. Let's go. Cool. Yeah, so the cutscenes are always in 60, by the way. And actually, I have, uh... I forgot how to turn off the, uh... There we go. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. I had the NVIDIA FPS thing on still. I wanted to turn it on. Yeah, all the cutscenes are locked at 60, but the actual gameplay is unlocked. I, I don't think it can go above 240, though, actually. But not completely unlocked. Well, shite. We just killed somebody. Except we didn't, though. It's fine. <laughs> oh no! 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 Ah! Ah! Great! Ah! Fuck! Ah! All right, we're into the game, everybody. Just stranding. I was walking for some reason, even though I didn't mean to. Now, how do I put this on my back? Like that. Okay. Oh, where's my other cargo? Oh, there's one there. Is there any back here? I saw some fall. Just making sure there's nothing. So, uh, I guess I can try to explain how the game works best. Um, essentially this game is just like a lot of control of like how you move. Oh, we should go up over here. So, you most of the time you want to balance like this so you can use your arms to balance. Or if you want to, you could be a really cool drummer. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, there's our thing right there. Um, you, you kind of want to... And this is why I would recommend a controller for this game, is the fact that this game is, like... Just being able to move really slowly and, like, carefully down things is, like, super... Nice. Alright, there you go. The game now told me how to... Uh, get cargo and everything. Alright, there's some cargo down there, but we're not anywhere near that, so... I'm not gonna worry about it. Get inside from the rain, it's damaging our cargo containers like mad. Um, so yeah, so essentially the main thing here is trying to deliver your packages in the best condition possible. That's kind of like your main mechanic, so... Alright, we're going to do another cutscene. Um, but yeah, so you can see there's a little bit of rust on the containers. The rain will damage your containers over time. And... Uh, Essentially, if your containers get too damaged, it'll start to damage the uh, cargo inside. And the tape around it that's yellow will get from yellow to red based on how damaged your cargo is. If you fall over it, it'll immediately damage your cargo rather than the container. Uh, but the more damaged the container is, the more damaged your cargo will get if you fall. So, yeah. Uh, we will get an item later that we can repair our container with, uh, like, a, an item to make our containers back to full. 
As long as they're not fully damaged, because if they get fully damaged, then you can't repair them. Container damage doesn't matter, but cargo damage does, and you want to try to keep it as, you know, undamaged as possible. Figured I'd explain that, because the game really doesn't explain that very well uh, to new players, so that's kind of one of the things that, like, is, like, the most important thing to be explained, but it's really not explained as well as I think it should be. Anyway, spooky, spooky part coming up. Looks way better on PC because you get that little extra bit of sharpness. You can get sharper textures on PC versus uh, PlayStation. On PS5, technically not. It's the same on PS5, but PS4 you get slightly worse textures. The game still looks great, though, either way. Horizon Zero Dawn looks great, and it's on the same engine, but I swear to god, Dist Stranding looks better, and I don't know why. Maybe it's just the environments are more realistic, I don't know. Protected here. Still can't see them, damn it. Not connected. Damn it. Thank God we're good. We're in the clear. Anyway, that was... I think we're good. <laughs> it's that false sense of safety until it's like, there's two of them. See, a lot of this makes sense to me, by the way. If you're somebody who hasn't played this, I, I would be curious to see your perspective already at this point. You're probably like, what the hell? Some of it's still a little confusing even to me, but I get most of it. Anyway, this is the prologue. AKA cutscene time. It's gonna be a lot of cutscenes before we get to gameplay, but uh, we'll be here for long enough. We should get to some proper gameplay. I think you're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. A chiral allergy. Chiral allergy. So you have dooms, like me. I'm he says it's so weird. Factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stop Oh, dry. man. Same as you. I don't know how much I can explain of what they just said. Time falls that up. I might have to explain a little My bit because it doesn't. Roger. A lot of things in this game are explained yeah, in right. internal files, so. <laughs> that right? Written stuff. Some porter bridges. 
the man who delivers. He deliver. Order up. I swear this game looks better than I remember it, but maybe that's just like a combination of DLSS and the fact that it's you want it? higher textures. A crypto buy it a day keeps the time fall away. Cool. Uh uh God. I hate eating and chewing sounds so much. Wanna come work for me? I have cats that are like the loudest too whenever they get into food and like they're all fed at the same time. So that's like the worst of it in my opinion. Three cats eating like slobby monsters just going to town on food just like No thank you. Not much left of me either. You got soaked from neck to toe. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. And that's basically true. Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractors, Sam Porter Bridges. Receivers standing by for drop. We're a freelancer at the moment. Let's go, let's go, deliverer. Headed into town. Yes. He's got a weird umbrella. It like vibrates for some reason. I'm not really sure why it does that. I think it's supposed to do that to get rid of some of the rain off of it. But honestly, as an umbrella, it seems very un impractical. That I never fully understood. Like, there's other purposes for that as a tool, but as an umbrella, it's like the worst part about it. Nice picture. The time full fast forwards, whatever it touches. I love how that picture of Norman Reedus is meant to look like a younger version of him, but like a realistic version of him when he was younger. Like in older mo like in older movies. It's actually really cool. I like that detail. Later on we see like a like a child version of Norman Reedus. I'm really curious if that actually looks like Norman Reedus as a kid or if that is just like some other kid actor all right so we have stamina and we have blood uh, let's grab this because norman forgot to put this on his back sorry his name is sam all right be sure to scan for cargo whenever we can there's one down there ah more copyright strikes my favorite game honestly looks great though but yeah coming up is the part of the game that teaches you uh don't run down or run up things like an idiot like this look at the steep cliff not really a cliff but it's like basically a, a cliff almost okay, just go down that carefully and you won't fall um there's the deer from earlier. Alright, so what's the water level here? Barely anything. Um, so there's there's different kinds of water levels. So essentially what we're doing with this scan thing is it's just like scanning the terrain, scanning for packages, all that kind of stuff. Um, if it's blue in the water, that means we can go in it and it's fine. That means it's not shallow, or it's really shallow, it's not deep. Uh, there's our objective over there. The game won't label things like that for you normally, but because we don't have the normal map yet, it won't. Uh, it just does it for us for now. I'm gonna go over and get this package. I don't know if there's another one over here yet. Doesn't look like it. Let's go get this package real quick. This package is far away. Damn, son. This is shallow, but I'm gonna avoid the water anyway. Uh, so you can you can eat cryptobites. 
They recharge your health. Uh, they give you, you give you blood back. Uh, so, just quick health. Um, there's other efficient ways to get health back though that aren't those. I don't know if the game wants us to go through here or not. I keep scanning because I just want to make sure that we're not missing packages. I don't think we are. Actually, we want to go down here. Uh, we can get down this, believe it or not. There we go. See? <laughs> Take my word for it. I know what I'm talking about. Kind of. Oop. There's something that's scanned to our right. Ooh, there's more packages. There's one up there and there's one over there. I'm gonna try to get everything. I think this is shallow. Okay, it's not quite shallow. Alright, there's two packages there. There's one way up there, so I'm gonna try to get that. Uh, we have to cross over here anyway, so it's probably good to just do this now. This order really doesn't matter either for, like, quality or anything, so don't worry about it. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Our packages are, uh, oops, climb over that just for safety. Um, over time, you'll get more, uh, you'll basically get stronger. And you'll be able to pick up things easier and carry more stuff easier. There's also upgrades and stuff and, like, things you can take with you that'll help you with carrying things. No getting up this. What are you talking about? We just did. Oh, that was Lost Cargo. So Lost Cargo is cargo that, uh, in the main part of the game, um... You basically you'll find lost cargo to other places and you can like choose to deliver them and they're just like on your route uh, some stuff is where you're going other stuff is not like on your route where you're going it's all dependent really on uh, a lot of stuff sometimes you have to choose to take it sometimes you have to choose not to Carrying too much cargo. We're not carrying too much. We're good. Norman's a strong boy. By the way, I am making the controlling of him look a lot easier than it actually is. It is very not... Like, it is very... Uh, it, like, it, it makes sense in terms of movement and controls and everything, but it is, like, not quite your standard. It's very, like... Um, there's a lot of momentum in the movement in this game. Like, if I tap the movement like this, he just walked, like, an extra, like, three steps, right? Then what I tapped. This is the way the game works. Okay, I can't do that yet. I normally would optimize this cargo, because the way that car big one's on top is kind of odd, but it's fine. Let's go. That should be everything. I don't think I missed anything, but... Could be good. We have lost cargo and regular cargo, so... It's all good. You just want to try to be as careful as possible when turning. Especially with a heavy amount of cargo. Otherwise, you might start tripping. And we're good. We nailed it. Let's deliver all that. Hell yeah. Delivering cargo. <laughs> so most of the story is going to be through so these kind of calls. I like the legend to come in late. I'm Margaret Qualley. Lost my bike. Sounds like you've been through the air. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but 
everything else seems to be in perfect order, so. Uh, she's also in the, um, we'll Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And other movies, but that's like the other one I immediately think of. Look at that. So no damage, because we're the best. And yeah, so you get likes from doing things well, and that kind of adds to your like overall level. And gives you bonuses the more likes you get. Um, but there's also another... Oh yeah, our uh, our route was pretty terrible. Actually, that wasn't too bad, considering. But yeah, we're the best. All right, sweet. Now oh, this is our lost cargo that we we did. A lot of that. Well, lost cargo doesn't get as much, but you can get more lost cargo than normal cargo, so it kind of adds up over time. But yeah, here's where our stuff kind of goes to improve. Yeah, this is just going to be delivery volume because of how much we took. So yeah, we'll, we'll level up. We'll get a porter grade that kind of levels up over time, and that's what we want to try to improve. We obviously won't get much now because it's just the prologue, but... As much as we can. <gasps> For me? A special message? I'm excited. Okay, this could be cutscene for a while. Chillax, everybody. This is a chill game. We're gonna have a, you know, just a, a grand old time, just relaxing. And yeah, that's basically it. Friggin' monster truck. By the way, they can drive their trucks like that. We can get a truck later, and we can't drive it like that. Disappointing. Igor! Not the touchy-feely type. Tagovin said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges corpse disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Hey look, he has a BB! Come on. I got one too! BB! I'll shut up now, I know. Come and take a look. Alright, what is this? He's got a date with the incinerator. Ah. Since he flatlined. Body. I don't know the exact POD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the Alright, so This route's crawling with PTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. So I feel like the and danger of this poor bastard right here. You put all that Kyrillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than I feel like the importance of this and how dangerous this is right now is not explained well. So essentially, if somebody dies in this universe, it will release... Uh, it'll go necro and turn into a BT. And a BT is not a nice thing. Um, and essentially... It'll also turn into a BT, but it could also be destructive. Then bridges here by and cause a void out, Sam Porter. which essentially means that Sam. it'll cause a big explosion and, and essentially wipe out everything in its Just radius. That's um, came prepared. So yeah, it's very dangerous. If you burn it right here, With its help and you, it releases a thing called Chiralium, which is ahead. essentially an element in this game. There's the BB! There he is. Makes me feel like shit every time. Well, yeah. We're plugging into the other side. Freaks me out too. Hello. Roll out. Um. So yeah, if you burn it here, it releases a thing called Kyrelium, and uh, that attracts other BTs. So it's really, it's not good. So we have to burn it somewhere where nobody is. Problem is, we're gonna be surrounded with BTs likely from this. 
Kojima. Kojimbo. Alright, well, here we are. And now we have control. Well, the world was different when I was a kid. America, the country. Anybody this is really cool. You can look at like the whole environment and everything. No need for couriers like yourself. Don't get used to it, by the way. Anyway. You can even visit other countries. Okay, you can already see he's starting to go necro already. Hard to imagine it now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. He's gonna go to Necro really soon, so we need to burn him. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the Timefall came and washed you away. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. The worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. I never noticed that in my original playthrough. That's when folks started holing up in the cities. Careers He's like going now, dude. You gotta... You gotta get him out of here, dude. He's starting to go. Oh my god. How much further to the incinerator? This guy's about to pop. Yeah. We're to cut to the BTs. Yeah, 40 hours is a long time. I don't know if he's about to pop. He's going now. He says, pop, it's, you know, just go necro. Turn into a BT. BT is essentially like a dead person. That's not quite accurate, but that's pretty close to what it is. Hello. You can look around for BTs. You can't really see anything. Because we're from the perspective of uh, Sam here, and Sam can't see BTs, unfortunately. I don't see. Oh, you can see the shadows of some of them, though. They're there. Oh, there's some there, apparently. It's actually cool, you can follow his uh, Audra deck to see where there are some. I don't see any here. Fortunately, oh. Apparently there's one over here. I don't see him. Alright. Those strands, by the way, mean that that's a BT. So this guy's really turning into a BT now. God, I feel so bad for this guy just trying to drive through this. Well. I don't feel so bad. He crashed the car. He sucks. Just kidding. <laughs> well, this has gone great so far. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Norman Maritas. I know, his name is Sam. It's hard not to just call him Norman Maritas, though, because it's basically just Norman Maritas. Alright, so we're looking like we're doing great so far. Uh, so where is the body? There it is. Oh, it still hasn't gone Necro yet. That's surprising. Ooh, it's about to though, I think. And oh, that guy's stuck under the thing. I don't know the time falls getting on him.
Yeah, so that's what Timefall does. Um, the rain when BTs are around will uh, essentially progress time quicker, faster, and easier. So, uh, yeah, that's why the plants grow really fast and then die. Sucks to get on you, as you can see. So his Audra deck, that spinning thing, is basically a sensor. Uh, it's connected to the BB. The BB can sense BTs and it essentially shows the direction and how close they are. Alright, so now Sam has to identify <laughs> where they are without uh, having any of that connectivity. Oh! And he's going Necro! There he goes. Well, see you, dude. So now we have to worry about him coming towards us as a BT. There he is right there. You can kind of see a silhouette there. I'm not going to mention what just happened there. Oh, well, that guy was not supposed to make noise. Well, that looks good. Yeah, so this is why you don't want to get caught by BTs. Uh, there he goes. That, that's honestly probably the best thing. Oh, hello. Won't say anything about that person either yet. Just because, you know, no real reason. Uh, definitely not any significant stuff about that yet. Yeah, so he can see all of the BTs right now because of the uh, connection with BB, um, but we can't. Anyway, he told us to run and get out of here. Oh, oh he tried to kill himself, but unfortunately, uh, that didn't work out. So yeah, he's trying to kill himself, because if he doesn't kill himself and he gets uh, eaten by a BT, or, you know, swallowed by them, if you will, uh, it'll cause the void out. And we don't want that to happen, because that's a big explosion, and we're in the middle of a city. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, you know how I said we could sense BTs with a BB? Or see them? Yeah. Uh, there it is. And there goes Igor. Bye bye. So we're dead. That's the end of Death Stranding. Um, we're dead stranding now. Not completely. Because Sam's the main character. There's a little bit more to uh, Sam than other people.
Can't really explain what's going on here exactly. This is from like the first trailer, and I feel like this is mostly in the game because it was in the trailer and that, but it, it is a little confusing compared to everything I know even. Some of it makes sense, but some of it's like I don't know what that specifically means. Other than it looks cool. I gotta say the eyes look great in this game. I think that's really like a big help to the, the quality of this game. The eyes just look like actually have life to them. That's a cool shot. Death Stranding. We completed the prologue, guys. It's just been an hour. That's the thing with this game. It doesn't feel like it's like as long as it is. It really doesn't. Huh. Sam's got a great singing voice. Oh, it's not Sam. I was about to praise him. I was like, wow, good job, dude. You really throw your voice as well. Put some pants on, Sam. Huh. Sand looks great. The water looks okay. It looks pretty good, but it's not perfect. It looks pretty good. But the sand looks fantastic in this. I think that's like the best thing. Whoop! Trip and fell. Uh, yeah. He tripped. He tripped. He out here now. Ah! Uh, got another one of those damn handprints again. Takes months to wash off. So, it blew up a city, right? And the city had a lot of people in it, so all the things we're seeing right now, all these, are other dead people. The game also doesn't explain that well, but I just want to make that clear to you. It makes this a lot darker. Because, <laughs> like, these are all the people that just died. This is also us. Um, so yeah, Sam is a repatriate, meaning he can return to life from the, the place known as, uh, the seam when killed. So this is the seam. In the scene, follow the strand to guide Sam's soul to his body to bring him back. So we do this, and we come back. So Sam can't die, exactly. Oh, hello. It's Mads Mickelson. BB. Yep. Actually, let's see. Can you hear him? I don't think he can. My bad. <laughs> I gotta stop with that. Yes, we all know I have a BB thing. I paid a good chunk of money for it. I'm gonna use it. I'm sorry. Alright, well, we're back. BB. Alright, well, everything's fine, obviously. We're all good, we're alive. Everything's alright. Perfect. Everything's good. You know, let's. Uh, oh. Well. Once there was an explosion. Bye bye, city. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. It's completely gone now. And then came the next explosion. Yeah, the worst part of that is there's also now a, uh, a huge amount of BTs in there. That will be our last. Alright, well there's the prologue. Um, if I didn't explain some of those things, you really wouldn't know what's going on. Um, yeah. Fun. Fun, fun. Um, yeah, you know, I I just really like this game, dude. It's really cool. We haven't even really got to the main gameplay yet. We kind of have. But we just have more cutscenes now. 
Enjoy. I'd rather not skip them because it really sets the mood. This cutscene's a low frame rate for some reason, I don't know why. Episode 1 is Bridget. Yeah, so Call me dead man. I'm well acquainted with the dead. Not like you, of course. This is one of my favorite uh I've never characters. Yes. I would advise against that. Dead man and another Otherwise, character we'll see later. I can assure you uh, it's for your own protection. See? Art man is really cool. So He's probably the coolest one. These aren't handcuffs. They're cutting-edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Yeah, so we're here oh, at Bridges. Us. Yep, Bridges. Humanity's best hope for the future. Or avoiding extinction, if you prefer. Right. Where am I? What time is it? Watch me. Try pressing it against your skin. Like this. Yeah, so this is a little like cuff that kind of gives you all your information. It's like a that just means your future watch. The cuff link. Look, cuff link. Look. Yeah, so we get a bunch of stuff. Well, this is where our map is and hours a day. That is save say, feature is and all that stuff. We're here to help. What the it's our pause menu. Days. During that time. We took the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. You. You're a repatriate. That makes you very special. Yes. What happened to the CD, guys? Central Knot was obliterated in the annihilation. Game over, man. Place <laughs> is a crater. Game over is so we forced in. To continue. Looks weirdly like Metal Gear Solid for some reason. I, I don't know why that is. Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. Why keep it? Uh, we lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. Well, BB's gone. Good thing you didn't get too attached to it. All of Redford. Every soul in Central North City. We're at our base. It's like the, the only time we ever see Dead Man in this uh, outfit. Or should I say, our it's new cool. headquarters. I like the little red. Sudbury seemed the logical choice. But our implementation team has been decimated. And there's only so much they can do in two days. Things here are a mess. Yeah, this is pretty awful because the whole city was destroyed. The director and his support team were out of town at the time, so the chain of command remains intact. How convenient, actually. I never really thought about that. It's convenient that all the important so people were not in the main town. For you. The capital, if you will. Huh. Uh, this stencil is from when you repatriated? Uh, what's the other mark from? A clingy woman in a cave. Mm, I see. Aphanphosmophobia. No wonder you were out there alone, where no one could touch you. Yes, yeah, so Sam does not like being touched. He actually kind of so, has an allergy to it. The job is an urgent delivery. Which is what aphanphosmophobia is. Fear of being touched. Morphine. What president? America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Knot? No, 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 not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. A president 
is in the final stages. Yeah, so now we're in the UCA because there are no states. There's still time. Why me? There's only cities in the US anymore? Or the UC? So it's the United Cities of America, not the United States of America. Why don't you do it? UCA. Because I'm not really here. Whoa, big reveal. Apologies. This is just a chirogram. And now it sucks. <laughs> and here oh, come the tears. Allergic reaction to the chiral transmission. Yeah, people are allergic to chi chirelium. The isolation word in the big so that's why people have tears. Ah. Here is the morphine. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Come on. You got morphine there. What's this about? Tell me the truth. <sighs> the truth, Sam. Is that America's last president wants to see you in person? Are you really about to say no? Yeah, we just have to deliver some morphine over to the president because the president is uh, not exactly doing so hot. But we don't really need to actually deliver it, it's just kind of a ruse. Good. I'll see you in the I just closed it. I never said I was delivering it. <laughs> Fine, we'll deliver the package. If you say so. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Make sure to hold down the triggers, otherwise you uh, put it down. <laughs> Let's put it on our back so we don't need to hold it. Uh, oh, we actually can't even use this terminal. So, by the way, get used to this whole um, area, because we're going to see a lot that look like it in the future. We actually don't even need balance, because this is just one package. It's really easy to carry. I kind of want to show you what like off, being thrown off balance looks like. Oh, never mind. Check the map on your cufflinks if you're lost, Sam. The isolation word should be pretty obvious. If you're not sure how to get yeah, there, so this is a markers and draw roots too. Try it out and you'll see what I mean. So yeah, we can use our cufflinks to make a, a map. So uh, you could do like you can basically go from where you want to go. So. You basically just do this, and then you basically extend your route from each point that you make uh, to where you want to go. So there's there. Um, I believe it's just like through here somewhere. And there. Well, that's that's the route. And then it shows up on your uh, thing. See? This is really useful. Um, I probably won't use it much because I kind of know where everything is, but it's fine. I'll probably use it a little bit because there's a few areas that have like complicated paths that I know where the thing is, but I don't remember the the full like best route, possibly. Sad. Most of it I should though. Oh yeah, there's a compass. Very rarely use the compass. So yeah, you just can do this and you can like look around. It shows you where your objectives and stuff that you scanned are. There's our route markers. And yeah. Um, I believe our this route marker is going through this building. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I couldn't really see where this path was exactly, so... It's fine. Uh, you can run, too, in here, actually. You can sprint. You're going to want to be careful with that, though. You could lose your balance. But we have nothing heavy, so we're fine. I believe there is a secret here. I'm going to see if I can find this.
Okay, it might not be here yet. Anyway, that's fine. It, it's nothing. It's just a collectible. Really not important. So the one thing that occurred to me with the director's cut is that, based on the order of things, it's actually not possible now, because I believe the added story elements to this game that they added um, are post finishing the game. So it's not actually possible to complete the game fully anymore before the end of the game. Hold on, I'm just gonna, oh, I can't, okay. I have a rumble on my controller, I kinda wanna turn it off, I think. But I can't do it yet because cutscene, so we'll just live with it for now. Oh my god, this game looks good, I swear. Like, I know I played it on the PS4, but it just it looks slightly better here. I don't know why. Like, I know the textures are slightly better, but, like, it feels like more than that. I don't know if they did any extra, like, enhancements for the director's cut in that way, but maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Probably didn't. Trending the same way. No chance of a recovery, then? None that I can see. No. We should start making preparations. Sam! It's me. So, uh, the president might be dying. Sorry, my mistake. Didn't sound good. Alright, so there's real dead man. I'm afraid the president's <laughs> Imagine it was just another... It was another chirogram. He just hands it to him and just like, boom, on the floor. And allow her to speak with you in these Damn it, moments. dead man. Her. The first and last female president of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? You're not exactly dressed for a reunion. Take that off before you come inside. Yeah, so, uh... Let's see the president. Oh. That was our whole order. We nailed it, guys. We... Oh my god. We're gonna beat this game in no time. <laughs> Orders are so easy. Not really, but it's fine. Alright. I don't know why I'm letting this just go through without skipping. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so... Basically that. Oh, cargo condition. We got that rank now. Great. I mean, technically the other, like, cargo we could probably damage, but that's... Likely the first time we actually could have damaged something and fell over. I mean, it's not hard to do that perfectly, but. That's the president's right hand man, the director of bridges. There he is. Die hard man. Oh, you were with bridges one? So, I guess no introductions are necessary. Yeah, yeah, that guy's name is Die Hardman. Just, just so you know. What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks. Ten years. Like yeah, well. Deathless freaks. We died already. You. President's waiting. It's your mother, Bridget. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. Yeah, so it's his his mom, apparently. But they don't seem to have like the best connection Madam President. We've and relationship. Sam. They don't really ever go into that. Like, their past being raised, like, Sam being raised by her and everything. Which is really weird, I don't know why. That's, like, the one thing I kind of wanted to, to know a little bit more, but they don't really talk about it. Maybe there is info in that, and I just never found it, but... Because, again, a lot of stuff is in the documents. We'll you two alone. And, like, the written files that you can read through. Which I won't read through too much. There are some that you need to, but... Sam. Yeah. I knew you'd come back. I mean, I was kind of forced here. 
But yeah, I, I'm here. Hi. Are you doing all right? Yeah. Could have done better. A whole city exploded, you know. Yeah, I know you hate me. <clears throat> yeah, and that's why I want to know more about the relationship. He just hates her. Why? They don't really talk about it too much. Amelie. You remember Amelie went west. Took her three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help Amelie. She needs you. Yeah, so... Together, you can help us reconnect. I'll just let this kind of play out, I think. You can make America whole. Sam, if we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. We don't need a country. Not anymore. We do. Alone, we have no future. No, America's finished. Bridget, you're the president of Jack shit. Sam, listen to me. Please. willing to help me. No, I... Hmm. So this does not make a lot of sense for a very long time. I mean, part of it does, but... I love you, Sam. Like everything, everything, um... It has deeper meaning. Like that, for example. Madam President. Again, won't say too much. <laughs> but yeah. That's cool. It still feels weird to see these cutscenes in like 60 FPS. Because on PS4 it was just 30, right? Oh, I never noticed that. The, the one character there is um, the Mama character that we've seen before. Wait, really? Wait. Yeah, that definitely was. Sorry, this is a confusion thing for myself. Oh, that must be a... Oh yeah, that's a Kyle Graham. They're not all there. You can see Mama. Heartman's on the right there. Mama's on the left. Yeah, they're Kyle Grahams. Okay. I was confused for a minute. Because knowing some deeper things about some of their characters, I'm like, wait a minute. But yes, okay. That makes more sense. Well, she's dead. Um. Oh well. <laughs> Listen. No one can know that the president is dead. If word gets out, Bridges is finished. Now, what happened here does not leave this room. Do you understand? Yes, director. Kind of already has, because some of the people were there Without from a cowgram, and they're not actually in the room. We've got that covered. So it kind of already has, but ignore that. <laughs> Sam, before she died, the president made a contract with you. What are you talking about? As a member of Bridges, 
you're gonna work with the rest of us to rebuild America. You think you can recruit me? Like she tried to? Well, she succeeded. Look at your wrist. If that's yeah. not symbolic, I don't know what is. Director, the cancer spread throughout her entire body. Harvesting organs is out of the question, and there is no need for an autopsy. Her body needs to be cremated before she necrotizes. And yeah, if we don't, so this place will turn into another crater. We're in the same situation we were already in before. We don't the body cannot right do the necrotization the team because went into the field with Big Boom are dead. Or not really Big Boom. She'll just become a BT and likely make Big Boom. Be the road from Capital Knot City to the incinerator was compromised in the void out. Now, the only way there is on foot through the mountains. But the chiral density there is off the chart. It's got to be BTs. This job has requirements. Tombs. Repatriate. So me. Why? Sam, you're already on the clock. Yeah, so, uh... Now get it done. We gotta do Sam some stuff. Order bridges. Now things get serious. Don't be so serious. But it actually gets a little bit more intense now. And we have stuff to do. You know, a good old corpse disposal suit on. Because that's what we doing. I think this is literally the only time we wear this suit. Can I have a moment? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. President Strand believed in American reconstructionism. She worked tirelessly to bring the nation together again. And without her, there would be no bridges. I like how they put the little like uh she deserves the, uh, a funeral you know. with full honors. But we can't give her that. What she was wearing on her head. She dies. I can't think of the dies. thing. Without her, bridges will cease to be. Listen. But I like how they put that on the, the body. Her cremation. Can't think of the name of it, my god. Out with the utmost secrecy. Even if we pull I know, I'm an idiot. Gun, who's <laughs> gonna take her place? Face it. America's history. Sam. America isn't dead yet. He just said that it dies if Bridget dies. She may be lost to us, but we still have an America worthy of the presidency. Sorry, what? Let's not get into it now. What matters is that we're going to finish your mother's work and rebuild America as she intended. That's the reason Bridges exists. So take the first step, Sam, and deliver the president's body to the incinerator. If we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. You are not paying attention to what he's saying, and that is not good. I wanted to send Sam. Time's running out. I love you, Sam. The depth of field in some of these shots is really, really cool. Some of the lights have some weird flicker to them, which sucks, but that's just like a game engine thing. But. Usually it looks good, which is cool. The facilities to the southwest. Remember that you'll be passing through BT territory. We built the incinerator way up in the mountains so that the chiral matter in the smoke wouldn't reach the city. It won't be Smart. easy carrying a body up there. Could have made a better path to it then. If they knew they were putting it up there. We'll be monitoring you I guess they don't use it that much, but that's fine. We'll offer you support by the couplings. Yeah, how do they get stuff up there normally? I'd be curious to know. Especially if they have multiple bodies. Seems like it was only built there recently. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem to be practical. Normally. That's a cool shot. That's a really cool shot. Alright. Let's go. I got it. It's right there. Yeah, fine. I'll make a path. Getting to the incinerator will be anything but easy. Move around and change. Really not that bad. It's pretty easy to get over there. See if you can't pick a path to your destination. 
For this order, we provided you with a number of suggestions. You can also rotate them out. Well. Ultimately, for height and stuff. It's up to you to decide how you want to proceed. Yeah, so essentially we have to decide where things are. Herbicide route. Oh, they give you like routes on how to do it. Easy. So this one's a little harder. Flat route, that's easier, but then it's hard to get the mountain route. I don't learn this that way. Interesting. This wasn't here before, so this was like kind of a tutorial to show you like where, like how to get there. This is the easiest one in my opinion is the Riverside route. Not hard at all. Oh, and then up here and over there. That's interesting. Okay, well, whatever. We'll make the route. Huh. My old route's still here. Alright, let's make our new route now. So we just have to go through here. No. I'm going to try to get it as close as to what our old route was. So yeah, for the most part, I mean, the game kind of shows us the route anyway. I think we can get through here. We'll see when we get there, but... I don't know why I'm being super particular about the path, but I just kind of want to show off how cool it looks. I know how to get up there, though, so it's really not that hard. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I like the little path markers. They're really cool. Very, um, Forza-looking. Sam, I don't think I need to remind you, but every minute counts when transporting corpses for disposal. Dude, that guy was necrotizing in 40 hours. I will be there faster than that. It's fine. I will be there quicker than 40 hours. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway. Yeah, so mainly you want to... Yeah, so corpses are more liable to sway, but if you're balancing like this, then you're fine. Just don't, like, walk too quickly while turning. Take slow turns, don't turn quickly, and you'll be fine. Wow, oh, I really nailed that path, didn't I? Basically. It is hard to move your marker slowly on the map. That's one thing that I always was kind of annoyed by. I don't know why I'm going all the way to the marker. This marker go away if I get, or the the old marker go away if I went to this one. It should. It does not. <laughs> that's something that always annoyed me about this pathing system, though, is that if you go to a marker that's like ahead of where you need to go, then the other ones don't go away. They do eventually, but like from your because you're just not close to them, but they're still there on the map. Actually, A5 is still there too, that's weird. Should go away, we literally passed it. Oh well. Um, another cool thing we can do is signs. I don't know if we can do them yet though. That might be later. There's a, a structure. That one's there already for us, but... Uh, later on, we can build these anywhere we want. Kind of cool, kind of cool. See if I can make a sign. Ah, I can't, I can't do it yet. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Well, anyway, on our way. 
But yeah, this is basically all we're doing. We gotta get all the way up to uh, the incinerator, which is all the way up there. Uh, unfortunately, we can't grab this stuff yet, but uh, eventually we'll be able to. That stuff is also important. It's cool that they put some uh, like route markers here, though, and like their difficulty. That wasn't there in the base game, and I think that's like a really cool way to, um, you know, show new players like how to kind of progress and like what they should be trying to do. Gives an easier idea of like what the goal is and like what they should do. Because before you're kind of just left to like, oh, figure it out, figure out the route. I obviously know what the route is, but it's like... It's a challenge, a little bit. Alright, so... I believe somewhere over here there's a ladder. We can scan too to see if we can find it. There it is. Yeah, so right now it's okay. Um, while well, we're getting a copyright strike here, we should uh, be able to go and do what we need to. Nah, there's nobody out here. Alright, uh, let's go over this ladder. And Igor put this here himself. He's super helpful, dude. Returning from the dead to uh, help us out here. Very nice. I appreciate it, Igor. It's very helpful. Alright, uh, over here, I guess. I will say, Low Roar's music is really fitting for the tone of this game. But unfortunately, I think a lot of it gets claimed. <laughs> Alright. Up this way. This route's not too complicated. There's a few bumps here that we gotta try to be careful with. And it gets a little steeper towards the end here, as you can see. There's a waterfall over there. But uh, we should be okay. We should be good. They put a lot of this stuff here, and yeah, we can't grab it yet. Again, I won't spoil it, because the game will eventually uh, show us what to do there. Or, like, what those are and everything. Okay, I thought the head was kind of moving on its own. It's just like the bumps and stuff. It's just moving. Imagine it starts like going necro on your back. That'd be kind of terrifying, actually. Uh, it's not going to start doing that, but that would be kind of crazy. There are little black particles though, every once in a while that come off of it. That might be a new touch. I don't remember that. I always found this music ended really quickly. We still got a, a little bit to go. Yeah, so there's a, a rope here. So yeah, all this stuff is kind of here to like just show you what you should do. Oop. Grab the rope, please. Grab the rope, Sam. Thank you. All right, so we're, we got to climb up here. You could walk up there, honestly, but that's a faster way to get up there. All right, now we got to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, we're not too far now, but we got we got a little bit more to traverse here. The ladder over here, so we got to take that up. 
But we should be good from there. The rest of it is just kind of walk in there. But we need to remember this route because... Um, we need to come back as well. We're going to very soon get to a part of the game that is uh, a bit more of a challenge. And yes, you can get up cliffs this steep. It doesn't seem like you can, but you can. <laughs> Alright, I think we can just cut through here. The game's trying to tell us to, like, not cut through here, but I think we can. I think it actually might be easier to kind of go over here like this and then up through that little crevice I think we'll be able to do it yep go Sam nice upper body strength my dude oh oh there we go that was our first trip of the game let's go it happens a lot with uh, bodies, though. So that's the place. Huh. The bodies are way worse. Oh, there is a path through there you could do. All right. Oh yeah, we can save our progress too. We should probably do that, it's been a little bit <laughs> since we've probably had any sort of save happen. Anyway. Alright, here we are! It's... The Incinerator. Sweet! Alright, well... I'm excited! Let's go! Very nice. No problems on our way over here. It's not too bad to do, but some people might fall. We almost did. <laughs> Alright. I do want to stress, too, that most deliveries don't have, like, a... cutscene every time you deliver something. J just wanted to make that apparent. some chiralium in there. We're totally fine. We're fine. We're fine. There's nothing wrong here. Well, we knew that, because BTs and stuff. You said it was high, and we're adding more to it. How did he not know about the other cargo when he had to move it to burn the body? <laughs> that I never understood either, but whatever. What's this? BB. It's the unit Igor was assigned. It was hooked up to you when we found you in the crater. But why is it here? Because it's flagged for disposal. Central Knot's gone, and our headquarters along with it. Because that thing didn't do its job. It's all in Igor's logs. But it's still alive. It can't be repaired. And it can't survive outside the pod. Pity it if you want. Hmm. But the decision has been made. It has to go. Yeah, so the BBs order. are kind of viewed as equipment. Obviously, Sam, not being part of Bridges, views it differently. Um, the way BB, uh, the way that BBs work is kind of a a weird scenario. 
Yeah, it's raining. We got BTs everywhere. Not good. Why did it turn? Sam, There's a bit of like blood on the ground. Is that Sam's blood? And why is it there? Damn it! Must have lost you in the blackout. Sam, what's your status? Chirelium density. Never noticed that before. That's really weird. See, oh, so the incinerator was a bad idea to put up there because you couldn't get it up there. Told you it was a stupid idea. Yeah. Shut up. I know. I got an idea. <laughs> Time to use the BB. Pick it up the butt. There you go. <laughs> I don't actually know where he sticks that. Oh, hey, Cliff. Oops. Well, I might have spoiled that. That's fine. That's his name. It doesn't really matter. Honestly, I, I don't know why they hide that so long. Maybe you are defective. It means literally nothing other than it's his name. Yeah, BB, let's go. And now it gets scary. Uh, hello, <laughs> hey everybody, how's it going? Well, this sucks. All right, you gotta tell me the controls a little bit because I don't remember what they all are. Pick one or don't. Just get the hell out of there. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do my my old route back. Um. I'm gonna try to do the old route back. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'll see. Hold on. Do that to there. Like kind of here, here, to there, to there, and then here and around. Oh, that's the BT evasion route. Interesting. Straight through the BTs, straight through the BTs. Oh, this actually goes. That's cool. I never knew what the actual evasion route was for BTs. I literally never knew what it was. Because here's the thing, like, every time I've done this, I've always been caught. Every time. I've never done this smoothly. A B is crouch. And RB.
All right, I'm really trying to go through. So if you guys don't know what's happening, it's not super complicated, but essentially what's going on is BTs, um, the way they work is that you don't want them to hear you from breathing. Um, the Audra deck here senses where they are. When you stop moving, you can see them. But if you move, then you can't see them. That's how that works. I did not know you could get away from them if you went all the way over here. Ah! You can go this way to get away from them. That's so cool! I never knew that. I'd always wondered how you're supposed to properly get away from these BTs. And I never knew. Okay, you can't exactly go that way because it's a cliff. Ah, that's much easier. Thanks, game. Most BT areas I know like a way to get through them. Either you can go straight through them and just kind of avoid and walk around them. But that area is so packed with them, that's probably the most amount of BTs in an area I've ever seen. Marco, hello. How am I? I'm doing all right. I'm doing good, you know? I'm not doing too bad. I finally discovered the way to get around... Well, I haven't really discovered. The game kind of told me uh, how to get around the VTs at the start. Again, every other area. Generally don't have an issue, but... That specific one is such a pain. Alright, we're still kind of in the intensity sort of thing, but we don't need to crouch. I think we're fine now. Or we are fine now. We got the nice little happy hello thing. There we go. Perfect. Alright. We did it. I guess I'll mirror that same question to you. How are, how are you doing? I usually ask that at the start of my streams, but nobody's usually around, so I never usually get, <laughs> get an answer to that question. Good? That's good. I personally felt better in, in recent times. I've been doing a lot of uh, work for the past couple months anyway. Just kind of constant. And now that's slowed down a bit, so I've had more time to be here and uh, do these streams and whatnot. Oh, my, my path is going the wrong direction. Oh well, that's fine. I know which way to go, so <laughs> I don't really need to follow it. I mean, I kind of am anyway. Wish we could get those already, but we cannot. Oh well. Man, I never realized how many songs that are <laughs> are played at the start of this game. My god. Well. Thanks, hello, Aurora. I appreciate all the strikes I'm getting coming my way. <laughs> I guess it'll just be muted stuff. It's not going to be anything beyond that. But still. I don't know why I'm balancing. I'm not carrying anything. I don't even need to do that. I could probably just run back. Well, I'm a lot happier now that uh, I didn't get caught there. I was worried that was going to happen. I think I was supposed to partially go um, through the, like, gated area and kind of climb over stuff so I wasn't as close to the VTs, but, it, you know, it worked out. It's fine. If you have your breath held and you're not, like, running directly into them, they still won't see you, so... Um, at least those ones won't. Because I think... Um, at least later on, there's, like, moving ones, but right now there isn't any. So we don't have to worry about that. Alright. Run, run, run. Let's go. Looks like a, a Wii. Gonna play some Mario Kart over at, uh, Capital Nut. 
Is it Capital Knot or is this one Central Knot? I can never remember. Yeah, this one's Capital Knot. The other one was Central Knot that we blew up. Oops. My bad. Oh well, it's fine. This means we don't have as many orders to do. <laughs> What's going on there? I think the path might be a little broken there, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. I really like this suit. I wish you could keep it, like, fully, but... It's the only time we have it, so... Okay. I got it. I see it already. It's right there. We can do this, too. Oh, cutscene time. Nah, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, we have more cutscenes now. Jeez. <laughs> uh, it's a miracle either of you made it back. When someone with Dooms hooks up to a BB, your feelings and memories cause feedback, like with the speaker. It amplifies fears and stress, and runs the risk of taking you to a place from which you will not return. I'm sorry, but this BB has been pushed beyond its limits. This puzzle is the only option. Sam, get cleaned up and come to the president's office. We need to talk. All right, back to the Presidente. All right. All right. So as you can see, BB is a little important. And we can't just exactly uh, incinerate the BB. So. Yeah. And it helps us see BTs, which is really convenient, but only when we're not moving. Which is fine, that's where a lot of the puzzle comes from. By the way, if you're wondering if we can run directly through them, um, if you run into one, you stop immediately. Uh, you can run past them, but they will chase you, and they are faster than Sam, typically. Um, but if you do get like out of their range, because there is like a radius usually where BTs sit, um, it's usually marked once you're in there. Um, actually, sorry, it's only marked if you get caught. Um, but there is still a radius for most areas. So as long as you're out of that, you can still get away from them. Um, but yeah, you generally don't want to run through the area unless you're confident that you're, you know, past where BTs are. Because then you'll probably outrun them before they even catch you. Or they won't even catch you because they're not near you. So, that's about it. Nice. We're doing great so far. Uh, on the bottom there, there was a star rating system. Um, each place that you can deliver things to, or do orders for, or whatever it is, um, that will uh, increase. The better you do, the faster it will do as well. Um, you will also get more stuff that you can use if you upgrade stuff. So... You're still covered in That's the general gist. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any mm -hmm. event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. You too. As you say, I shall look after it. Give my regards to the president. <laughs> I love BB's reaction there, just like, no, no, it's fine, Sam, you can have mine, or not, fine, just leave then, also I'm annoyed that Sam never sleeps normally on the bed, he never does, he might wake up normally on the bed, but, uh, well, 
Or on the beach, that's fine too. It's almost time to go, Sam. There he is. So does anybody know if Norman Reedus looks like this kid? I've never looked it up, I'm curious. I'll do it now while this cutscene's going, you guys can watch. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Never mind, I didn't look it up. I had a message I had to respond to. Hey, Die Hardman! Oh, thanks. Wait, I'm covered in Kyrelium? Isn't that unsafe, though? Yeah, so we have a bunch of stuff that we can do. Um, can't really do any of that yet. Uh, we just kind of have to take a shower first, so uh, let's do that. Time to take a shower. Gotta talk to people. It's in the president's office. You did well, Sam. Thank you. No problem. Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Right. Well, that's Sam, fine. Me. Sorry. I'll America. shut up. Reconstructionism. Her dream isn't dead. Damn no you, dead man. This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. Amelie. Yay. Hey, Amelie. And yes, if you think it's weird that she looks a lot like Bridget, but not the same. You're here, too. Like, she just looks like a younger version. Then, you know, you are right to think that that is odd. Been ten years since you Because it is kind of weird. Right. And in all that time, she... Has She's her daughter. Today. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. But you do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious, then, about reconnecting everyone? everything someone has to succeed Bridget Sam more right. importantly someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt Samantha America strand our new president a new beginning for our people for our nation under Emily's leadership will re so yeah she'll be our new president the United Cities of Nobody will know anything is different. She just got a facelift. <laughs> we rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No, I'm through with There's this. There's a weird stare into I nothing. It's like all of you when I said him to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Yeah, cuz you suck. I was doing good deliveries until I had to like start carrying bodies everywhere. The best of bridges won, and went west. Alright, nice little map we got going on here. I 
led them past craters. This is cool. Imagine if this happened in real life. It would never will. But it'd be friggin' sweet. Never once, Mr. BT. So I'm coming a mile away. There they are. Spooky. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. I like how one of those kind of looks like Igor. But we managed to make it all the way. I believe Igor was Pacific. part of that team. All the way to the Pacific. Or was going to be part of that team yeah. or something. I don't remember. But then everything went to hell. The team was Yeah, because the team was wiped out. And Emily was taken. I think he was just like one of the people that was like responsible with the contact between them or something. I don't know. Well, taken. I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave him be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edgenot City. Homo uh, demons. Bunch of yeah. terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. Fun! But yeah, so essentially... The that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. They're extremists like the demons everywhere. Plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. Yeah, no so they want to keep Emily essentially their hostage of like, Just keep us independent. Ideology. We don't want to join the UCA. I know not everyone essentially all they're explaining the here. If we Americans don't and the goal again, for us, humanity I don't know if it's been fully explained to us yet, but essentially they want us to be the person who does connect I everybody. my mother's message to people all across the country. You can see some people not refuse, some people connected. Accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. See, we're in the right. They think that America can only independent be power by men who tell them what to do, who it's take fine. away their freedom and put them in shackles. Would you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's it is kind of hilarious that, like, the whole like apart, this bonds you, this connects us together. To Looks like handcuffs. Sam, we want you to go west and finish. I'm pretty sure it definitely Emily is on started. purpose. The people she left behind have been hard. There is practical reason why they look like handcuffs. But these terminals are still. We're not able to do it, like know that we need yet. You but to bring them online. That will happen eventually. And for that, and we'll get to be able to. You'll need a cupid. Use stuff of that. A cupid. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols. Floaty necklace. The terminal into the Cairo <laughs> web. Take the Cupid West, Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. Apparently there's like a real like merch version of the Cupid you can get that's like real like metal and it's like polished well and everything. That's like $500 or something crazy like that. Or like more than that. I don't know. It's like $1,000. This was Bridget's dying wish. It's insane. This is how we'll move. Be awesome to have, but like. Please, Sam. Oof. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. The Wait. end. Oh. <laughs> See? Oh. It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam. Same as it ever was. Hold on. Stop. Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect. It's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. 
You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? All right. Good you do idea. That. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long, and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance uh, has been completed. Basically, you can that die. Adjustments and fine tuning for your benefit. Have people died from not sleeping? Again. I've seen like some experiments of people not sleeping for the longest time, and it's just like that dooms and BBs are a good they go kind of crazy. But I don't know if anybody's actually died from sleeping. Like people know it can happen. I assume it has. Or perhaps I don't. the two of you have something of an but I don't really know. One another. Well, that's something I'm looking up later. <laughs> That's the other thing. There's probably got to be like other things you die from because you're not sleeping that are just a, a, a it's caused by not sleeping, but it's not because you're not sleeping. It's because like it is ultimately, but it's like you died because of something that happened or like something that you now have due to not sleeping. Right. Like somebody dying of old age, it like doesn't really happen that much usually. It's like they get old, they get something that corresponds to being old, and then that's the thing that kills them. Like a heart attack or, you know, Sam. something like that, right? Stroke. Listen, you are Sam Strand. No, not, not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. Sam Strand, Sam Porter, Porter Bridges. A strand is part of rope or bond. Sam, While I'm not going to say anything else. Means being washed up on the shore and being stranded. Sam Reed is. So uh, Norman I'm Bridges. Sam, here on the shore of the Pacific. Nice. Sam, you know, ultimately we have to help out, otherwise there's no game for me to play. Of miles away, but our <laughs> bond still holds. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> You're free, but we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not. All thanks to a little dream catcher. Actually, true, though. What's her suit just changed? I never understood why that was like that there. It just, it's the way it is for some reason, I don't know why. Also, I have a little bit of audio delay on my end. I don't know if it's because my, my sound is going through a bunch of different really weird reroutings. It's also Bluetooth, so some of that is just a cause because of the way my system is. I don't know if there's any delay on your guys' end. I hope there isn't. If there is, apologies. Ah, the apocalypse. It's beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. <gasps> it's the director's cut beach. <laughs> anyway. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. Huh. Alright, we got a dream catcher now. Weird. Did we not always have that? But we did. Eh, whatever. Connect it up. Look at those drinks over there. What is that? Sam, this is Die Hardman. Not you sure. Like a log. Must have been beat. Private rooms come with all the basic amenities: shower, oh. etc. What? Open when you need to rest, inspect your gear, review info, or whatever else. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our staff. Wait, wait. But before you do. Why not check things out for yourself? What? See how no way. These days. No way. Hold on. 
Hold on. Ridge's energy. They lost the rights to Monster. I wonder if that's the same in the director's cut as well on PS5 or if they lost it only for this. That's so interesting. I was like, what the heck is that? They don't have monster energy anymore. They have they have bridges energy. Bridges energy. That's interesting. Huh. All right. That's really weird. Um, later you can get another thing that's like a different drink, which we'll probably get. When we get it, we'll just have it because you can get rid of it and go back to the energy drink. It's not monster anymore, but anyway. Um, all right. Uh, sadly, I'm going to have to leave this here for now. Uh, just because I have to go right now. I kind of had something that just came up. Um, but I will likely just come back uh, later today um, and play more. Because I do want to play more. We did. It's a lot of cutscenes today. You can browse the Bridges database, which has info on a range of subjects. Yeah, it's just going to show us a bunch of stuff. everything, but there's still plenty you might find informative. But yeah, I'll likely come back later. It might might be like 30 minutes from now. It might be like a couple hours from now. Uh, that just depends when I'm able to do it. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to save for now. I've noticed something interesting about this game, which is the fact that for some reason, every once in a while, it'll like flicker out. And it's not like your guys' issue. It actually happens in the game. It'll, like, it'll just flicker black, or like half the frame will flicker black. I don't know if that's something with my computer connectivity, because I do have this. You guys are watching like a second duplicated feed of my actual main monitor. It's complicated, so it might be that. Um, oh yeah, right, our monster. It's been a few hours. <laughs> so I kind of forgot about the monster. Yeah, that's so weird. I don't know why the monster's like that. Um, it's very strange. Like, well, it's, the monster's not like that at all, because it's not monster anymore. Which is really weird. Uh, I do want to use the sink real quick. I think that's something that's good to do. Could be wrong. Hello, Norman. I mean, Sam. <laughs> this way. No, that's the same thing. Oops. <laughs> He's just gonna make his face real moist. Oh, he actually has the handprint still on his hand. From, uh, Amelie. Or not Amelie, sorry, Bridget. Huh. Interesting, I never noticed that before. I'm trying to see if I can get one of the like uh, the, the kind of Easter egg ones. Nah, nothing as of yet. Oh, that's one I already did. I'm trying to do new ones. It's hard though. It's actually hard to get them. I went on the bottom left. These are all the angled ones. <laughs> They're so stupid. I've never actually like properly checked it out before. Nice, that's the best photo. Oh, we got a BB like. Perfect. What's down? Oh, down's the same. Oh, I guess I didn't get the angle, I just did down. Alright, well, whatever. I don't know why he sits down like that. Honestly, I don't know what it achieves. I guess it kind of does look like a seat, doesn't it? Weird. Uh, yeah, we can do all that. Basically, everything's marked with an exclamation mark because we can really do whatever we want. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do on the weapons rack because all of this is supposed to be like, look at our weapons. Hey there. Believe we've met. I oversee delivery operations, yeah, yeah, yes. and repairs. Hello. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama. In case I didn't mention it before. Those there are strands. Ah, uh, yes. Not for packing, by the way, but for identification, too. 
Take a closer look and you'll see. See the red there? That's your blood. Yeah, we have we have blood rope. Isn't that fancy? I always thought these were supposed to look like Norman Reedus, but they don't really. Just mannequins. Just mannequins. Wiki feet. All right. Uh, oh yeah, we can look at this. So these different colors actually mean different things. Um, I don't think it'll tell you though. No, it doesn't really. Uh, so this, so red is medical. Um, bon uh, this one, the black is security, and this is corpse disposal. Here's BB. This is dead man. Dead man. I calibrated your AKA Guillermo del Toro. Data we collected from you earlier. It's still just the best guess though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. Right, I want to go here. That's my suit. This case will remove any chiral matter still clinging to your suit. Uh, speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel. Oh. Red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, and black for security. I'm cr I'm gray, right? Change color scheme. I can't do that yet, right? I can't actually do that yet. Yeah, I can only do it for this. Yeah, you have to unlock the like color scheme stuff. Dude, do we already have gold for this though? What do we do? Uh, you can do clear lenses. I like the black lenses. Um, stealth black. Um, uh, I'm gonna do. I'll do omni reflector for now. Why not? Screw it. I tried to do everything in gold, but I think everything comes in Omni Reflector now. Uh, didn't in the base game, so it was like you kind of had to go gold if you wanted like a full complete set of stuff. Uh, but I think everything has Omni Reflector in uh, the director's cut now, so let's go that way. Screw it. Um, yeah, I really don't have too much. Uh, the figures, uh, there's not too much here, but I believe this is where you have. Hey, 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 buddy. <laughs> um. There's not really much here now, but uh, later on that'll be like if there's any um, major parts of the, the story, we can replay them there. You could do that before, but I think now there's like rankings and stuff and all that. No? Am I wrong? Yeah. I know. I'm going to leave. Shut up. I got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, just checking to make sure there's nothing else here. Log... No, it's just that. Alright, we don't have any mail yet, so... We're good. You have music? Oh, we do. Alright, this is the scary thing if you're a Twitch streamer, so let's not uh, play anything from that. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, okay. I guess that's probably it. Uh, we could drink stuff from the table, but I'm not gonna do that. Um... Can I not leave yet? Oh, do I need to do everything here? How do I leave? Do I have to check everything? I guess I have to check everything. Okay, well. Time to use the toilet. Hey. Sam. Huh. Devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the death strand. Oh, I meant to as hit well the other one. And I wanted to do the sitting. You relieve yourself, a certain amount of then it makes a nice motorcycle noise. System, chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure Whee. and the development of phobias, as well as in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelium contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. Allow me to collect a sample of your excretions for my studies. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Chirelium and your overall health. Very nice. Thanks for the wink, my friend. Uh, can we leave now? Because we've heard everybody. Yeah, okay. Oh, hello. Were you standing there the whole time? <laughs> Probably. Well, have you had a chance to think it over? 
Oh yeah, right, we haven't made our decision. Uh, nope, don't want to do it, see ya. Chock full of Kyrelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to. I don't remember what knots actually stands for. It is like a, a like some sort of abbreviation. I just don't remember what it is. That's the mirror again. Floaty necklace. Except now it's not so floaty. Listen up, Sam. Which is good because otherwise that'd be annoying. These people built in the towns and cities they pass through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the yeah. narrow network is offline. It means something right though. Now, I know it does. Only capable of transmitting I mean, it's like you're connecting like a rope, right? And they're wired, knots in the rope, right? wireless and a small amount of data. So there's that, but like it actually has a meaning, I think. I'm not sure what. So unless the necessary data stored on site. Oh, this is where he ties his hair back. Up. Emily and the other bridges members you've seen around the place are like that for most of the game with local data in case you didn't know anyway all you've got to do is find the knot connect your cupid and bring Cairo communications online once you connect it to the terminal you'll be able to initiate zero time massive data transmission with the UCA network and just yeah. like that you'll reconnect us not only to each other but to our past yeah, the main thing for that. The main thing for that is, um, we want to be able to connect them, and then we can actually like use their services to make more equipment and stuff, which is important. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again, and that. My friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Yeah, dude. Time to be epic. Once you establish Cairo communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things. You're just standing in the room while he was doing all that. Except anything original. He was talking the whole time. I assume he was. Nothing real, just copies. True, which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll yeah, need basically everything that's made in a chiral printal, no rest printal wicked, printer huh? is a copy, right? Not everything can be done in a chiral printer. A uh, chiral printer is basically the thing that allows us to make equipment or make like things, really. Well. In theory, it can make anything, but it really can't. We'll give you the details at the dispatch. It's like a 3D terminal. printer, right? Make sure you check it upstairs. Drops waiting up there too. You wouldn't use a 3D printer to make water, right? These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. You still need to be able Should to I deliver. Dispose of them. Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Yeah. Set them off. How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Weird, huh? All right, time to stick her in there. <laughs> This is going to happen a lot. Oh, anything? Oh, wow. So, yeah. I, I don't really want to comment too much on these because I feel like I'm going to give too much away. I already said his name. Oops. Um... But, yeah. 
Not that that really matters. But I feel like I'm gonna accidentally say something I'm not supposed to yet. But our lo a lot of our interaction from Mads is gonna be that way. So, yeah. Yeah. I think the story in Death Stranding is really cool. It's just a lot of people think it's really confusing, and it has a lot of, like, intersecting things, and it's presented in a way that's, like, supposed to be confusing, but it's really not when, like, things are kind of all figured out. It's... I really like this game. Head West! Ah. Good to know. Good to know. That is my plan. Sam, this is Die Hardman. Die Hardman! You yep. can make a beeline straight forward. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Knots. Like tying ropes together to make a longer rope. Yep. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. What I just said, kind of, except not as smart. Deliver whatever they need and connect the cupid. Yeah, so we have to basically, like, you know, extend the signal by connecting other places to get to where we need to go, right? That is kind of the, the general idea. Um, yeah, so we need to do an order, so we need to go to the way station west of Capital Knot City. And you can see it's kind of mountainous in that area. When I tilt it, you can see how there's kind of mountainy areas. Um, the incinerator's down, kind of in the in the middle of a line there. On the bottom, you can see it there, where we went before. You can see our path kind of is outlined there that we took. Yeah. That's where we're going. Summaries may contain information critical to your success. Yes. Make sure to review them before getting underway. So this is information, basically things and hazards that's possible on your trip over. So it's going to be kind of mountainous. We could also fall because there's cliffs, there is water, and there's BTs. Um, and then this just tells us like what we need to do. And uh, the way I can tell that is by uh, the signs underneath the distance. So there's Capital Not City, 1,000. 216 meters away and then those are the dangers and then it is recommended that there's a ladder and a climbing anchor and then it tells you information we have to deliver the smart drugs which is what we need okay cool there you go we'll accept the order and then we'll get given our cargo uh, so we have four things of these smart drugs it's really not that bad so we could probably just load all on there and we should be fine We've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. Yeah, they cool. should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Yeah. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Yeah, so... We could put this where we need to put it. Um, I'm going to put it on the tool rack, because the tool rack you can basically equip really quickly. So if you need it fast, then you can get it. So I would put it here. Um, one thing to note is if you see the circle underneath uh, Sam here, uh, that's your center of gravity. So if I put this on my back, you can see that it's barely, it's basically perfectly centered. Um, but if I put it on the tool rack, it's slightly right leaning because it's on my tool rack and because of that weight. Um, now, I can offset this by putting this on my suit. Um, so I could put this on the suit, um, put this on my opposite shoulder, and that would balance the weight back out. That's likely what I'll do. Now I have another ladder. Uh, I'm going to put that one on my back, like this. Keep the weight like this. Um, and I will probably also put this one on my back. And we also have the climbing anchor. And so now there's more weight on the back of us because there's more stuff on our back. So we can put this on our suit again. Um, but you can see that that's going to make us really right leaning. Um, so I might replace the ladder and put that on our back. And then we have kind of this other thing. Or what we could do is we could put this on our back. And maybe I'll do that. And then I'll rearrange this cargo to be on our suit as well. To be on our right shoulder like this. 
And then I'll take this other ladder and put this uh, on our suit. Put this on our right or our left hip. And then we'll move the one on our tool rack also to the suit. So it doesn't really need to be actively uh, equipped. And now it's mostly on the back, but it's still slightly forward. And that's kind of our best case of balance that we can do. I think. So a lot of this is trying to figure out your balance before you go out. Um, I think a lot of people don't really realize that that's something you can do. Because um, that whole center of balance is not explained at all. Well, because if you see now, we can run around really easily without falling over. Um, because our gravity is great. Doesn't mean we won't fall over. It doesn't really matter if we do fall over. I mean, it does. We have one package, but that's basically it. Um, now, this will probably change on our way. Um, but yeah. Uh, hello. Dead man. Yep. Open tool HUD. Yeah, we're good. We got a bunch of stuff. And the P maneuver. Fun. <laughs> so yes, you can you can you can take a piss wherever you want. It's a free world. Also, you can do this to equip items, so we can wear our cool sunglasses. Nice. I don't really like these glasses as much, but I'll wear them for now. Why not? Not a particularly sunny day out, but you know what? It's fine. Sam, you see that sign someone left over there? You can leave some of your own if you'd like. Messages, warnings, words of Yeah, so this is what I tried to do earlier, but we can't do it. I'm gonna put a sign right here. Uh, create sign. So we will put in uh, some sign of some sort. I think there's more signs in this as well. Start gold checkpoint. That's cool. Time for a rest. Lambda. There's a samurai one. That's for cyberpunk. This is for uh, Half-Life and Portal, kind of. It's like a mix of the two. And these are like resources. A lot of these are new. I would have loved to have these in the, the base game. Jump ramp. Hmm. Put this here. Yeah, you can basically put those wherever you want. These little uh, footpath things as well are made by you. If you went that way, you made a path. So there's some lost cargo. That's what I was talking about. So here's four pieces of cargo that we can get. So we're going to want to put these on our back to keep our balance the same. Um, but yeah. So you can see that there's these different pieces of cargo, um, and if you look at them, you can see that they're all for uh, Capital Not City. Remember, Sam, every parcel is a promise made from a person in need, and they're counting on you. I can't remember if there is a safer way to get across this river. There may or may not be. It's a little deep, so BB's not going to like it, but that's okay. Uh, he doesn't like yellow, it doesn't make him happy, but you can pick them up. Oh, is this not that deep? Oh yeah, <laughs> we could have just went like that. Yeah, hey, whatever. Um, so yeah, there's this. Capital Nuts. Um, and they're all really for Capital Nuts, as you can see. So, that's cool and everything, but we're not going to Capital Nuts, so what do we do about that? Um, well... Uh, what we can do is, you can see over there, there's a little can-looking thing. Um, and that you can like store stuff in, 
Um, you, you can put those anywhere yourself. Um, that's just one that the story or the game has put there already. Um, we could just stuff them in there, and then if we come back this way, which we probably will, uh, we can take them and bring them. Um, or we can take them back now if we want. Oops, Sam's like into walking a straight line right now. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to try to grab as many of these pieces of lost cargo that I can. Um, I could even bring them back. And what I might do, actually, is I might bring them back now, because we're not that far out. And I might just store our main cargo in the thing for a bit. Which is honestly not that bad. Now let's go get this. A lot of the rivers around here aren't that bad. Uh, they might get worse later, but they're not right now. I'm a fatigue level reduced. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> We're carrying quite a lot. Um, so, yeah. This is also kind of the way the game is trying to make you realize that... Oh, there you go. PB didn't like that. That's okay. That's okay. We're carrying a lot of cargo, so... Now, there's a lot to Capital Not City. Now, what I might do... Uh, is I'm going to activate this terminal here. And in my private locker... Your private locker can be used to store cargo and the like. Yeah, so you can store stuff in here. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to put this... This is the main mission one. You can tell because it has a star and the, the hearts are the lost cargo. So I'm going to store this in here for now. And it's going to mark it with my cargo in there for now. And what I can do... I can go over here and get this cargo, and then I can go to Capital Knot and grab all that. And you're like, well, why don't you just keep that cargo on you then, right? Like, why don't you just um, keep the main cargo on you and then, you know, take it with you? Well, that gives me some free room, for one. Two... I get a lot of this uh, extra room to essentially take all this cargo really quick without really needing to worry about it. Now the game is like telling me, oh my god, you're leaving your main cargo behind. It's freaking out a little bit, don't worry about it. It'll probably get mad at me for it. It's fine, don't worry about it. I'm gonna deliver it. I just need to grab all this cargo first. Uh, there's a ladder up there. That's just a material ladder, though. We don't need that. There's a lot more up there, too, uh, that we can carry. So don't worry about it. Um, and I'm going to grab all this. Because what I want to do is I want to get a good rating at Capital Knot. Because you get some good stuff right off the bat for doing that. You can see we got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Now, we have an XL, an S, and an M. Um, that might be too much. So we're going to put a ladder up here. I'm going to see if I can grab the remainder of this cargo. Okay. Let's see if I can get this all the way up here so I don't have to... Oh, there we go. Perfect. And that's where we want it to be. Perfect. So we want to try to get this as close to the top as possible. We're not perfectly up here, but we should be fine enough. Yeah, perfect. Alright, so now... Uh, I'm going to try to carry this on the back. It's a lot of weight. Okay, and you can see that there's a bit of cargo up there. I'm going to see if I can get to it. This is heavy and very unsafe. Like, in terms of sturdiness. Um, there is a lot of... There is some cargo over there, but that's in BT area, and I don't want to go over there, so we're not going to do that. 
Um, I say as we might do that. Um, it's very hard to climb for Sam right now, so I'm not trying to push him. I just want to get this one last piece of cargo while we're here. Literally the only piece of cargo here that we have. And then from there we can uh, try... to uh, find our way back because we're going to want to deliver this. And you can see that we don't have our cargo with us. Now, it's not going to rate our cargo delivery because that's the other thing. If you take cargo with you, um, then one of the problems that you're going to get is the fact that cargo will give you this rating of... Um, it, it'll essentially track your distance and your travels with the cargo that you take. So, I don't really want to make my marked evaluation of that distance to be bad. So that's why I'm leaving that cargo there so that it stays there, that's where it's been, and then when I take it again, I'm just gonna continue its path this way. Our ladder's right there, right? Yep, just making sure, just making sure. The game is nice to you here too, because it gives you a ladder if you didn't take one for whatever reason, because you can leave them in the private locker. You'd really have to go out of, way, out of your way to do it, but you could. If you wanted. Okay, so... Let's continue here. Try to get back on my ladder. There we go. And I'm going to go back to Capital now. It seems kind of stupid. I realize that this is not, like, the main route that the game is telling me to go right now, but... Trust me, I want those stars, and I want to get this lost cargo back as soon as possible. We will come back this way anyway, um, but we'll already have cargo to bring back to Capital Knot, so it'll be hard to carry all this at the same time. Um, we probably could go out of our way to get that one out over there. That's, that is really out of the way, though. Alright, so now the game's giving us time fall. I'm surprised it didn't do it to us yet. So yeah, this this will damage our cargo containers. Um, oh well. Unfortunately, we do not have the tool yet to repair cargo containers. Um, now, the time fall is already gone, so it's fine. <laughs> the time fall is starting in the direction of where we need to go. Um, it's not over here, so we're fine, we're fine. There was literally no time fall on our container. I do not know why the time fall started. We might have just been a little too close to the uh, the PT area. That's just the way the game tries to tell you, like, hey, don't go this way because PTs are this way. You should try to go up the mountain because it really wants you to like practice ladders and ropes and stuff. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go all the way back here. I'm gonna bring this to the distro center over here, and then I'm gonna get my law or my main order again, and then carry it all the way. And that's the other thing that I won't have to carry all this crazy heavy cargo to the place, and we'll be able to get over there really easy because we have nothing to carry. There is some stuff to bring over to Capital Knot that is on the uh, other side of the cliff that we're gonna have to go down, um, but I mean, I'm not gonna go all the way back up the cliff with stuff, and a lot of that will. There's only a few things, and we'll be able to bring those back when we come back here. Eventually. I'm pretty sure we come back here. I could be wrong about that. I'm not positive about that. He was starting to fall over, so... He's very tippy right now, so I'm trying not to, like, train him any more than I have to. He's very tippy. Whoop, 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 whoop. My cargo keeps freaking out. Every time you hear that sound, that's the, the cargo on the bottom going like, Oh, don't leave me. I need you to deliver. I'm delivering, just not you. Alright. Trying to take her steady. Because <laughs> it is, uh... 
Whoop. Alright, we just gotta get across this river and then we're good to go. BB's not gonna like this. Sorry, BB. Alright, his stamina's already down. I think this is a better example of like some of the crazy cargo we might be lugging around. Imagine lugging this kind of cargo around, like this tower of cargo, up like a giant mountain like Mount Everest. That happens in this game. <laughs> and you just kind of have to take your time with it. That's one of the main things I'm going to be doing, is just taking our time. I'm in no rush to beat the game immediately. Will this be a 100% run of the stream? I don't know. Maybe. Will it all be on stream? Maybe not that. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see. We'll try. Either way, uh, the hope is to get as many uh, positive ratings from different places as possible because we really want to do that. The more upgrades we can get, the better. We're back. I haven't delivered that piece of cargo yet. I will, just not yet. <laughs> Dead man's like, you're back already? That place isn't even connected yet. Did you not connect them? No, I haven't even gone there yet. I was just picking up all the cargo that you left around the place. Lazy bastards. Unfortunately, we can't build a PCC yet, so... Because if I could, I would have, like, built it a little bit closer than the one we have right now. Um... I'm sorry, PCC. Post box. PCC is what you use to build it. Uh, we don't have access to that yet. I don't know how long it's going to take before we get... Because there is some, like, new equipment in this game and stuff that I don't know about. Or I kind of know about, but I don't know when we get access to it or anything. There's some cyberpunk stuff. There's some Half-Life stuff that... I got some of it because it was available on PC. But I didn't get all of it, so I don't know everything that's available that way either. So there's, there's, a, hand, there's a good chunk of new stuff just in that. Um, and then there's, like, some new content and extra little bonus bits as well. Alright, let's deliver all this cargo. Yeah, yeah. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. I brought in a lot of lost cargo. Submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. That's the other thing. We can secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. Yeah, so I mean, you can give it to other people who then deliver it themselves, um, if people want to do that. Uh, I like delivering my own cargo if I can do it. Um, the best way is to try to like route it into like, oh, I'm going back this way. You know, take cargo when you're going towards somewhere that's not somewhere and then bring it back, because the distance of lost cargo isn't tracked. Doesn't really matter though. I figured we might as well do it now because I want to get to the three star ratings. At least. Because look at how close we are to the three star rating on the bottom. We need like a little tiny bit. Lost Cargo doesn't give you a lot, but if you do a lot of Lost Cargo, it gives you a good chunk. Yeah, I'll skip through this. We, we know they all aren't damaged. 62 likes. The bigger the container, the more likes. A lot of likes. Three stars. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. Yep. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Yeah, so that's what you want to do. Now we have more materials that could be available for us. And four stars. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Doing that early, and it gives you ratings and stuff to level up. It's good to do that kind of thing when you can. So that's why I wanted to do that early. We got a lot in miscellaneous. 
And we leveled up. And now we receive more likes for things, which also levels us up faster. So, there you go. Hey, I got something for you. And he's got something for us. What has he got for us? A hat. Let's go. And the hat, I believe, actually gives you a slight stamina bonus. Could be wrong, but I think it does. As stupid as that sounds, I'm pretty sure the hat gives you slight, slight bonus. Yep. That one. That hat's reserved for Bridges staff who've gone above and beyond. Head on down to your private room if you want to see how it fits. Why do I need to do that? I can just do it here. There you go. We got the hat on. You don't need to go to your private room to do that. Oh, actually, since we're here, I just want to see to make sure we don't have any orders that we can also take from here that are optional. We can't. <laughs> it's telling me to rest in the private room. I'm not going to rest in the private room. I got cargo to deliver. We're also down a ladder, so what I'm going to do real quick is uh, manage my cargo. Oops. I hit the wrong button. I manage my cargo. I'm going to take the climbing anchor. And carry by hand. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm going to attach it to the right hip. That we even out our balance again. And there we go. We're even. We can basically run freely. So there you go. We got some better likes, we got some stuff, we got, you know, a higher ranking. The sooner we get a better ranking as well, too, uh, is the faster we're going to get a, um, like, the ability to carry more cargo. Because the more you level up, the more you'll get, like, available to you for carrying stuff. You'll get more weight that you can carry. So we really want to do that. That's helpful for the bigger missions. There's some missions that are just like super intensive in terms of how much cargo you have to go through, but yeah. Oh, and also, uh, here. Drink Bridges Energy. Weird. So it's really weird to me. Oh, and the sooner we level up, the, the quicker our stamina also um, recharges. Oh, and because BB isn't super happy, another thing we can do is this. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, my bad. Hey, BB. Oh, let's do you. Hello. That's okay. That's all right. So this can make BB a little bit happier. You can see BB's... Oh, you can't see BB's bar because I'm in front of BB's bar. Okay, well, never mind then. Okay, I was screwing it up. I was shaking him way too violently. Alright. <laughs> it's fine. It's been a while. I was making BB annoyed with me. That's fine. Don't worry about it. He's happy again. Alright. Well. Let's continue on. But that is something that we sometimes need to do as well. Um... Honestly, if you're, like, pretty not terrible at the game, you'll probably be fine. You won't have, really have to worry about BB. There are some sections where the happiness of BB will go down, but that's most of that is, like, I don't want to say scripted, but expected, so the game doesn't really punish you for it during those times, where it's like it's going to happen no matter what, right? Usually the game knows when that's going to be, so it doesn't punish you for it. 
Um, anyway. Time to grab our cargo again and uh, start a mission again. <laughs> Here on a pack. Confirm. We can take stuff in there too. People will dump stuff in there that we can, you know, have access to, but right now it doesn't matter too much. There's another one over there too. Not that we need it. Um, if you see those strands, by the way, that is like BTs. So, where you see strands is where you know BTs are, because if we look over there, you can see some in the distance, and that's towards the incinerator. So, BTs towards the incinerator, BTs towards that area. Um, and if you see a rainbow, then you know that time fall is starting or coming or whatever. Um, and yeah, basically everything is kind of like evidence and proof that there is something to do with uh, BTs or whatever it is. There's other things as well. Uh, we haven't got to that yet, so I won't really talk about it until we're there. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so a little bit of uh, extra familiar stuff. Also, we could have planned out the route to... Oops. Could have planned out the route to where we're going, but I really don't need to do it when I kind of know where we're going. And here's our ladder. Our ladder will stay here for... A very long time, by the way, unless we dismantle it. It'll just be here. That is a good ladder placement. It could be a little higher up, but honestly, it's pretty good. Considering. Like, you get the nice hop right over the, the ledge. Yeah, really good, really good. up our hill here and we're here so now that we're here we want to essentially get down here somehow so we're gonna do that so we're gonna place a climbing anchor which is why the sign is here so we're gonna do that because we got to get down this cliff so the way we do that is we access our tools we get a climbing anchor and we place it somewhere decent like right there. Oops. Like right there. There you go. And we can go down now. This will also let us go back up. However, it is possible that if we end up, say, uh, using the rope to go uh, up, then the rope might not be down here because we'll probably be take it up with us. So if that ends up happening, what might happen is... Uh, we might end up leaving the rope up there and then we can't use it to go back up. Now, I'm going to use this to go all the way back so we can find it again. There we go. There you go. It's draped over the side of the rock there. And uh, when we come back, we should be able to access it. Anyway, there's where we got to go. Uh, we can use our compass to see that. Got a lot of points on the map. I should probably clear those off, actually. <laughs> it sucks sometimes because you have to, like, go through and place... Uh, you have to go through and cancel them out immediately. There's no, like, fast clear. At least not one that I'm aware of. There's one there, and I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yep. I'm not really going to be using the custom markers that much because honestly, like they're, like I know where we're going for the most part, so it's honestly not that bad. Uh, so we do have to somehow get through this water. Uh, it's not scanning the water yet. Which is not fun. But you can see that it's really deep. Uh, we want to go over there. I'm going to go back up here. So that we're not trying to run through this rock. Because it makes us slower. So let's go up here. There's some cargo for Capital Knot here as well. But 
I knew it was all the way over here. Um, I don't want to go like that far <laughs> to get back to Capital Nod. It's basically almost the entire distance, so. Yeah. We'll carry this on our back. It's heavy, but we can manage. We can manage. So, we could put our first ladder here, uh, or we could not, because this water ain't deep. We could just kind of go this way. Oop, Norman. There we go. Not that bad. But you can see that this container is super heavy, this XL container. Uh, that is on purpose, because... The game kind of, like, tricks you a little bit by, like, giving you a bunch of cargo that's, like, not that heavy and you can manage, and then it gives you this one that's literally doubles your weight in one package. So, that's the other reason you want to deliver that sooner than later, because otherwise you likely won't be able to. Anyway, I'm going to go this way because it's really not that bad. Uh, you can literally just go through here. It's deep for, like, a half a second. <laughs> really hard to turn fam right now because of the weight and the fact that we're on rocks but once we're on grass it'll be a little bit better but it'll still be pretty hard we might start tilting if we go this fast oh we're good we're good luckily when you have a lot of weight but you have like smaller packages you won't really like start to have um a lot of tilting going on because there's not a lot to tilt it's just heavy Real quick, um, actually, you know what? I'll wait to grab that because that's kind of out of the way. But those are important. Eh, they're not really important, actually. They're important for like full completion, but they're really not that important. There's one that is actually useful, but the rest of them are kind of just collectibles. Or... Actually, you know what? I'll grab it real quick because I have to register it. Also, I don't know if you saw that light over there, but take note of that. Alright. There you go. Sam, if you stumble across any memory chips on the road, be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. There's no telling what kind of rare and valuable data they might contain. You're sure to make someone very, very happy with your contribution. Yep, so, those are memory chips, and they basically have data on them. Only one to my knowledge actually has, like, good data on it that actually is useful, but whatever. <laughs> there you go, so we deliver requested cargo. While we're delivering right now, I'm going to store the other two in my private locker for now. Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. The oxytocin will take the edge off and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before yeah, no problem. the contract. We'll You're welcome for the drugs. But now you can... <laughs> yeah. This is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. So, there you go. It's perfecto. <laughs> no damage, all good, everything's great, everything's grand. Hell yeah. And there you go. Yeah, oh, it did actually mark my distance for going forward and back. <laughs> That's funny. Oh well. There you go, two stars, that's kind of automatic for everybody. Two stars and a tiny bit is always kind of the automatic amount. There you go, cargo condition, we're all good, miscellaneous. Very nice. You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? I'm Dead. with the second team, Caught yes. No way. That one 
But you can see that that didn't do a lot, right, for our likes or our levels or whatever. You can see how much that did for us when we did the Lost Cargo. It is still important to do a lot of Lost Cargo if you can. You can get your levels up really fast. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years. And they sent us one guy who's... Shit, shit, shit. Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. It's crazy to think the fact that, like, the capital is right there, and they've been waiting for three years for, like, supplies or anything, and they're not that far away. Because this world is just not connected at all. People don't go outside. They don't go to other people. Like COVID, which is the weirdest thing, considering this is 2019, this game originally came out, and then 2020. Like, kind of crazy. Kinda crazy. BB. Yeah, you, you float every time you put them on the chiral network. So anytime that happens, we're putting them on the chiral network and connecting them. Um, and you can see up at the top there, we're getting plus 400 to our bandwidth, um, which is not important yet, but it will be later. Oh, well now it is. So now we have the PCC. <laughs> New options have been added. Make delivery, deliver last cargo, share a locker. Donate weapons and equipment, and share locker with drug cargo. And now we're connected to the chiral network here, so any of those green looking icons are shared stuff, so that's things that other people that have played the game have actually put down. Connection to capital not and now they look way better because they're on the better network. Just like they just got... We can finally do what we like five G. Hey, crazy. You're headed west, right? Gonna be a <laughs> lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on until you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Hmm. Thank you, Sam. Well, by bringing that way no. station into the Carol network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Not City. Right. What's next? So now we're just basically doing what we just did and carrying it forward. A couple of structures our previous expedition put in place, and beyond that, <sighs> okay. Port Not City. It's the, the uh, crater lake that formed after the one the lower. That or that's closer to us, that one. That's the distribution center. Another distribution center. And then that is the wind farm. And then there's Port Not City. The wind farm is awful. <laughs> I hate the wind farm. I want to see if I can cheese that one a lot, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. The wind farm is really bad. That's the first, like, sucky area of the game, is the wind farm. Unanimously... Please access delivery terminal for further information. Unanimously, everybody hates the wind farm, I think. <laughs> Your hard work's paying off, Sam. You can fabricate equipment. Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Should prove useful. So now we can make our own ladders and stuff. Uh, we don't really need them at the moment. Um, we might for the wind farm, but not right at the moment, so that's fine. So we have orders. Um, we have this one and this one. So this one's an important one. This one's a side one that we can do. Um, I'm going to do this one because this one is kind of like a tutorial one, and it's easy to do. Uh, I'm just going to accept that for now because I don't want to start my other order until I'm done this. To build a post box, you'll need to use a PCC. It goes without saying, but if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one. Yeah, we'll need to make one, so we will do that. There it is. Sam, you can use that PCC to build a post box. Yeah. So PCCs can make multiple different kinds of structures, um, but the only thing we have right now is a post box, so that's what we got.
Apparently we can't. Oh, I see. Do we have it? Where's our PCC? Oh, wait a minute. Did we not fabricate one? We didn't fabricate one. There we go. <laughs> I was so confused. I'm like, what the heck's going on here? There we go. We're going to place this in the private locker. We're going to place this in the private locker as well. Uh, wait, what? Oh, that's in the private locker. Um, and then this one as well. Uh, we'll carry those back when we're able to, but right now we're not able to, so that's basically everything. Ooh. Oh, yes. Climbing anchor we want to put on our suit. Put it on the right hip to balance ourselves out, and then we're good. And we're going to head out now. We're going to go make this good old PCC. Order yeah, I already kind of showed you what a PCC can do. Assuming you've got your PCC in order. I do. Head to the site I designated and build that post box, would you? You should have no trouble finding it if you check your map and compass from time to time. Yeah, yeah, I know. Check the compass. I don't know why that's marked on the map right now. We don't have anything there to do. Oh, that's just telling us that our main order is there. That's fine, I'm aware. We'll do it on our way back. Yeah, so... It's right over there. I do need to get down from this rocky thing. I didn't do that because it's faster not to, but you can just go down here. There we go. Right there you can see there's a thing, there's a resins. There's also some lost cargo for the way station on our way. Uh, there is some time fall, so stuff will be damaged on our way. So you can see there's this lost cargo, so we're going to get that on our way back here. Since it's over here. I think there might be some over there too, but I could be wrong. There's not, there's just that one and that one. So that's literally just the area that we were at, so we'll obviously take those. Why wouldn't we? Sam, Oop. I see you've arrived at the designated site. Good. When you're ready to proceed, activate your PC. Boom. So yeah, you just select it. Um, you can select your structure, but because this is the only one we have, you know. We wait for it. And then uh, we, we get this. So yeah, I literally showed you what they can do. You can just store stuff in it. Um, people can also put stuff in it for you. Um, or like you can take other people's stuff so people can put stuff in it and then, you know, basically give it to other people. So if they have the same post box, um, then they can find it. Um, and that upgrades our bridge link uh, level, which is basically our level that goes up anytime we do something online or for other people, like building structures. If we sh uh, deliver anybody else's lost cargo they entrusted to us, like that one over there, uh, then we can we can do that. Did it dump that guy's lost cargo in the water? It did. I gotta run after that. I gotta get that guy's lost cargo, because otherwise... <laughs> now that guy's cargo is going back to the um, Capital Not City, but that's fine. We'll put that back in our locker. Oh. Okay, hold on. So I am going to manage this cargo real quick because this is not uh, arranged right. Now we can auto-arrange cargo by pressing Y, which will make our thing look a little bit better. There you go. Uh, and that should have our weight pretty even. It does. It actually put something on our tool rack, but it was able to counteract that weight with something, so that's fine. Oop, cancel that. Uh, we're good with that. Yep. Now we'll go on our way back. So now we're going back to the way station.
Okay, now this is pretty deep all the way across. We're not going to be able to get across that easy. I'm going to try to get on this grass again so that we can go a little bit faster. Taking a bit of a detour for that, though. Uh, now, you might be wondering why we picked up the one that says resins. This little yellow case in the middle. That is just raw materials. Literally just resin. Um, I'm going to take a ladder. And do this so that we can get across faster. It also takes away some of our weight. We can do that. And there you go. Now we're back here. We're still a little slow, but that's okay. That gets that off of our tool rack as well. That was what we had on there, so... We're good. There's some lost cargo there. I'm not sure what that is. There's also some other way station cargo. I'm not sure where that's at. That seems far away. Well, one of those seemed to be in the water. The other one's on the cliff there. Ooh. Uh, I don't know why he's going up like that. That's not how that works. Alright, there's no time fall here, so I'm not really worried about that. That cargo over there seems to be in the water and going down the stream. Um, which is fine, but we're not fast right now and I can't exactly run after it, so I'm not going to try to... Unless it's not in the water, we are getting closer to it, so maybe it is like on the edge of the lake, but it's not actually moving. I'll grab it, it's for the station, I might as well grab anything I can. Yeah, I don't think it's actually moving. Which is good, it shouldn't be. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab that easily. That's my one problem though, because it is down. Can we get down there easily? Maybe, possibly. I should save real quick before I do this in case I, like, majorly screw this up. I think it's possible. <laughs> uh, I'm the best. Now, the cargo's almost at the weight limit. Which is true. Um... Cool. Yeah, climbing is the worst thing to do right now. But I kind I'm forced in that position. All right. Uh, that's it. <laughs> that's all we're carrying. There's. I'm not even scanning for more because we can't handle anymore. We're at 110 out of 120. But yeah, I like I like delivering as much as I can in one go, you know? Especially when it's like, it's just like a distance thing, like it's like, oh, I have to go a little out of my way to grab this. It, it's a different story if it's like in the middle of a VT area, then that's a little different. Um, I still want to try to complete it if I can. But yeah. Also, the harder the difficulty you're playing on is also the... Uh, the quicker the time fall affects your cargo. Oh, I didn't do the thing for the stuff. Yeah. There you go. Don't do anything with that. I do want to return that cargo. I'm just going to stick it in the private locker for now. Ooh. My chair has these, like armrests on it, but it like does a swivel thing too if you want it to, and honestly I've never used it so as a feature, but I always accidentally say, like push my arms into my side armrests and then they do it. It's very annoying. Alright, sweet. Yeah, you don't get a huge amount of likes for Lost Cargo. Again. It's not going to do much. But, it is a little bit extra for your level, so... You might as well do it if you're able, right? 
Again, proving my point. All right then. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. New order available. Please access delivery. So a couple other things that I want to do here before I take the order. Uh, in my private locker, I want to put the uh, this into my private locker, and uh, I'm going to confirm that. And then I'm going to. I guess I can't put materials in here, so I'm going to have to put this in my private locker as well. So that's materials. Container is damaged fairly significantly. These are damaged a little bit. Ooh, that's damaged a lot, actually. That one got really damaged. Alright, well, that's fine. We should be able to do it fine on our way. Um, Alright, I also want to share the memory chip data. And then we'll do our, our next order. Just random people that uh, come up for different ones. I, I really don't know why. <sighs> Didn't you do that? I pressed the wrong button. Sam, do the jump. All right, number of items to deliver is six. That's fine. We'll accept it. It's 30 kilograms. Not bad, not bad. Um, PCC. Do I want to build a PCC? Or take one with me? I have two ladders and a single climbing anchor. We don't need a climbing anchor, so we can get rid of that. Uh, it's all flat ground where we're going. Uh, ladders. Do we need ladders? Um, we might for the water, so I'll keep the two. And I'll make a, I'll make a PCC. I'll make a PCC on our way. Carry that, carry that, carry that. Just put it all on our back. Uh, the PCC I'm going to put on our uh, tool rack, this, uh, and then I'm going to remove the climbing anchor because we just don't need it. I'll place it in the private locker. And where's this one? I'm going to attach it to suit there so we even out our... Uh, yeah. Should I move this one on the suit as well and put it on here? Or is that too much that way? Oh, he is a little right balanced. Eh. He should be okay. We could put it on his back too, but that's just gonna bring, that's like gonna bring him back more. Or we could put the uh, one of the rare metals on the side too. Like we could put it uh, on the suit. Actually, that might be more efficient. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Because we're probably going to get stuff to put on our back later. Oh, th that was the most. There we go. I was going to say that is not an efficient way to do that. Um, okay, cool. Um, we're still right oriented quite a bit. Um. Maybe we just put the PCC on our on our back. That might be better. Yeah, that's better. Do something like that then. Yeah. I think that's the best way to do it. You can do auto arrange, of course, if you want to do that, but I like trying to figure it out for the most part. Unless it's like a lot of cargo that I just picked up. Because most of it's just gonna be on the back, it just needs to be like aligned better. Which can be a problem to manage sometimes. Oh, let's save again since we're here. Sorry, right, just want to make sure we're saving. All right. Yeah, so I think the best thing now. Oh yeah, you can't use weapons as well in uh, delivery areas. Not that you need to. And of course we don't have any of those right now. Might get that later. Uh, so what's our stamina looking like? I'm not sure. Hopefully it's okay. Um, behind me as well, by the way. Um, I'm literally like in the perfect spot, so you can't really see it. But 
behind me, there is a lot of, um, like, stuff. There, There's a meter for, like, BB's happiness. Oh, there's our blood meter. Um, that means we're in danger. I, I don't know if you can see that guy over there. There's two guys over there that are waiting for us. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. A little hard to see. I think it's a little easier to see for you guys, actually, than it is for me. Um, there is a peg. One of the pingers. Anyway, it's time to run. Heads up, Sam. Your cargo's been pinged. Move. Now, or someone has They're to coming at us. Um, get to your destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. Yeah, so they're chasing after us um, because they want to steal our stuff. Um, because that's what they do. Uh, those are mules. <laughs> they suck. They also like to throw things at you to try to stop you. They're really fun. They're not really. There's a guy all the way back there. We're outrunning them quite a bit. Nope. Oh. You know, they're retreating. So that cutscene plays every time. I'm just kidding, it doesn't. Um, that just plays every single time. Or that... <laughs> that plays just this single time. Yeah. So mules don't like BTs. I mean, that just makes sense. BTs kind of suck. Um, anyway, I'm still trying to get a bit of a move on here because... Cargo in Timefall Rain is kind of terrible. Um, sure. Somebody built a PCC there. That's actually kind of perfect. I'm trying to go up over this ridge here right now because, yeah. What? Uh, uh, this one. I'm gonna put a post box here. I think it's useful. Might be useful for other people. I'm not gonna put that there, but yeah. Anyway, we're entering BT territory now, so we gotta be real careful now. There's cargo here. There's a lot of cargo here, actually. Um, but I don't know if we want to grab all of it. Um, I'll try to grab some of it. See the three pieces of cargo? I don't know if that's everything. Yeah, see, so look at how much cargo there is in this area. It's crazy. It is insane. Okay, we weren't quite in BT territory yet. We are now. Very much are now. <laughs> Alright, so one of the things they added to this game, too, is you can see through our cargo where our Audra deck is. It's kind of hard to see still. Uh, they do that on purpose. Um, this wasn't even a thing in the game. The original game, you could not see through the cargo at all. Anyway, I'm trying to grab this cargo because why not? This one's the easiest one. Where's this guy at? That guy's... Oh, 
Hold your breath a little bit longer, Norm. All right, so we still have other BTs in our area. There's some cargo over there. I'm going to try to get over to it. Where are they at? One there, there's one there. I can cut through the middle here. See, we're doing fairly well. We don't need to hold our breath yet. Also, we gotta try not to spend as much time in here as possible because our cargo gets damaged the more we're in here. This time fall is very aggressive. Where's this guy here? Is he right above the resins? He is. Alright, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Those are just materials. Resins really don't matter. Alright. Now I'm just trying to get out of here as soon as possible. I don't want to run into anybody in case there is anybody, but I think we're fine. Container damage is resins. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, material... Containers get damaged really fast. Okay, I think we're fine. Alright, where's that other container? Oh! Right, I forgot about this part. So this is this is a scripted thing to give you basically need another tutorial. It, or, or kind of like give you just an idea of what happens if you neglect a certain part of the game. It AKA PB. So <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended. Get out of the rain, dude. Damaging restored. your cargo. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry though. Okay, I gotta try to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, uh. Uh. All right. When the strain on your BB exceeds sustainable levels. It triggers the production of harmful compounds, and the body, in essence, begins Gotta to Gotta get out of the time fall. <laughs> it's called autotoxin. There's metal and resins. Spent, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. Okay, cool. The time falls up. But now our containers are good. <laughs> so this can happen to you, um, at any time. You can basically get... Uh, Autotoxemia on your BB if you're not being careful enough. Um, now, luckily for us, it really isn't probably going to happen too much. Um, really, the Autotoxemia thing really only happens during a few parts of the game, um, like on purpose. Or, or, like, it gets close to happening on purpose during a few parts of the game. We really won't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, that one container of ours is pretty damaged, and the resins one is pretty damaged, too. I think we'll be okay. Honestly, losing, like, uh, materials to damage is fine. And it's a lot faster to happen, and it tries to make it so that you don't... The, the re like, the materials are the hardest thing is to get in timefall areas. Because it's just, like, so... Um... What's the best way to say it? It's very, um... Like, they, they just deteriorate really fast. So you have to, like, either get them and be confident you're going to get them out or not. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get that one out fast enough. Which is fine. We got a few of these here. Alright. So now, I have to use the ladders that I was talking about. <laughs> Now, that probably wasn't the best place to use a ladder, but it's fine. <laughs> I only have the two, so I have to really make sure I put this one here well. After this, we don't have any more. And there you go. It also won't let you put a ladder down if it's going to fall, so your ladders will not fall. There you go. Across the way. 
And we're doing great. Stamina is also not great. Um, I'm not going to worry about that because we're going to have to rest in the private room here anyway. And yeah. There's a bike there, but uh, I don't believe we can ride that yet. I'm pretty sure we can. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. There are two packages at the back of our backpack there. Are really messed up, but our main ones are fine. So we're good. It's that one resin container there on the, on the very back that's uh, damaged. Could be okay though. Welcome! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> How are you doing? I have stuff for you. Alright. Here's your stuff. Probably should have put some of the stuff in the private locker first, but we can do that after we're done in the private room. I believe it's going to force Police us into the private room. Yeah. Take a look, it should be fine. Talk about above and beyond. <laughs> Thanks. Must have had to pass through BT territory to get here too, didn't you? <laughs> hey, weren't joking when they said you were a legend. Yeah, I'm I'm the best. Honestly, that BT section is probably the easiest because it's just super flat and there's only like a few over here and a few over there. You can kinda just slip through the middle, but yeah. I never tried to even go for that cargo on my first playthrough. I really should have. It's not hard. <laughs> I was like, I was just so freaked out by BTs. I'm like, I can't be caught by them. Otherwise, the game will be over and I'll, I'll lose. I mean, you don't want to be caught by them, but, you know. Still. There you go. 50 likes. Very good. Our connection level will be at that two in a little bit. Ooh, it's almost three, actually. Never mind, we're doing pretty good. All right, sweet. How are we going, we already got the skilled handler. We can now carry more cargo, there you go, see? You wanna to try to get to that as quickly as possible. Okay, it's time. Do you mind we already got a little bit there. I think we can do 130 now, I think it's 10 for each one. Which are like, it's only 10! That's not a lot, but it adds up over time, and sometimes it's that extra little bit you need. It's the way things are sometimes. Whoa! Chiral network. Makes my controller freak out. I'm surprised the vibration works in the uh, my controller, too. Because it's it's an 8-bit do controller. It's not a not any sort of like Xbox controller or PlayStation or anything. Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. You're welcome. We got new interview data, so that's just stuff we can read on our own time, and we can also get mail now, which is awesome. That's really cool, actually. That's like one of the best things. This area is now connected to the chiral network, so yeah, all those signs and everything are all from people, all players. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Good. The distro center is on the network. Yes, it is. Do me a favor. You can tell, because it doesn't look like crap now. How is any of those hologram things useful before? Alright, uh... Make delivery. That's Capital Mountain. These are all the way station. Uh, I'm not going to deliver that, because that's not the right place. So I'm just going to stuff them in the private locker for now. The container damage is insane. <laughs> Alright, so we have all these. Um, I should... Oop. 
I keep undoing my stuff. Uh, I can recycle. Forty resins. There you go. Add our metals. Add our other resins. And there you go. We can add the materials. So this, all these materials get added to the facility. And then essentially you have all these materials in the facility. And basically what that does is it allows you to... Because uh, you can take out materials too. And those materials can be used for all sorts of things. Um, like bigger structures that require them. Um, as well as, um, well, a few other things later that we don't have at the moment. It's not really important now, but it will be later. Oh yeah, and this happens all the time, every time you recycle. Thank you for your continued support. Every time. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have to rest in the private room. And yeah, uh, if you go to the... Sam. Hello, Die Hardman again. To exchange cargo with other porters. The game's just explaining it. I don't know why I'm explaining it. But yeah, so we have the share lockers here, so we can get our... We can donate weapons and equipment for other people if they need them. And we can claim cargo, which is anything that people have put in uh, the share lockers. So somebody put in 100 medals that we could take if we wanted to. And somebody has some lost cargo they put in uh, that they put in the share lockers. So we need to return that to the way station west of Capital Not City. So we could do that. Um, I'm not going to do it <laughs> because that's not where we're going right now. But uh, if we are on our way over there, then maybe we'll do that. itchy leg, sorry. That's why I'm ducking out of frame. We're good. Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that. Whoops. Whoops. Apparently that's the control for the camera. I didn't know that. That incubator. Ignore that. Apparently up on the D-pad does the uh, photo mode. Didn't mean to do that. We should try that out too, actually. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I did try that out uh, once or twice on uh, the regular version of Death Stranding on PC because it had it. Temporary excessive stress, easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother. Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were yeah, so to that's very wacky. Inside a steel mother's womb. Essentially, the, the BB was never actually born. BBs need to believe and they have to store the still mother somewhere to, to have properly. that connection so that the BB does what it does. However, Connects to the world of the dead where BTs are and... Wrong. Which our world at the same time, the which is why they're a link for us with a to be able to see BTs. Uh, oops. Via the chiral network. That was me accidentally yeah. punching the control. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Not City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Yeah. Well, this made it seem like you had to come back here to make sure it synchronizes enough, but you really don't. You just have to make sure he doesn't get like so stressed out from stuff you're doing, like failing at the game. Basically, don't play the game so bad, because otherwise BB is going to hate you. And the more you keep him happy, you also get like likes from BB every once in a while, which is really useful. Because they boost you quite a bit, actually. Compared to normal likes. that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. It may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then... You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? You must understand. 
There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. Yes, we now this is important. Soon. Oh, never anyway, mind. Get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. Never mind. Good night, Sam. Yeah, so the whole blood thing is important. Obviously, now the game's ringing it up. I don't know why he cuffs himself to the bed when he goes to bed. It's really weird. Like he woke up like that and now that's what he does and I don't really know why. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. I guess so that he can't be moved without his... London Bridge is falling down. You know, My like he has to be aware that he's being moved like that. Sam? Hey. How are you? Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east. Back home. Yep. Okay. Thank you. I mean that. The one thing that I'm confused about is there's kind of this there are fewer and fewer supposed play on like this sort of no one's having children anymore. Seemingly romance aren't made for living alone. between Sam and They're her supposed to come together that to help one doesn't really seem to form like supernaturally throughout the game, but it does happen, and I'm just making a comment on it now because it's supposed to be something that we're like knowledgeable, knowledgeable about pretty early on it's like Bridget based on how the game puts it but it doesn't really seem clear at least not to me Come on. um We're building America but also get rid of the sam is his mother is bridget is her mother is bridget others. what no escaping it. but at least we'll have hope so that's where it's like kind of confusing it's supposed to just be like a family sort of like Love you, you're my family, kind of thing. But it doesn't seem like that based on like the later stuff we figure out. So it's like really weird. I don't really get it. Also, there's no suits in the thing. What? Waiting what? for you. Come and find me. Well, we know where you are. We just gotta go. Come and find you. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. I love how it transitions right back into the main element here. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Hey, Hartman. Since you're awake, it's He's my favorite character. To, freshen up. to that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research as it happens. Oh, well, you're welcome then. All right, uh, take a shower. I guess we're required. Let's do it. Zoom in. You can actually move the camera here. I didn't know that. BBB over there. That's cool. Study other people with dooms. Everyone in bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are. Yeah, so people with dooms are people that have like special abilities based on BTs. Everybody has a beach. I must confess to a measure of okay. optimism. <laughs> Processing fluids. Waste products. Chirally. Dispensing. Nice. You just took our shower water. Take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. 
Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research Fun. paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals. I have never BTs. used any of those liquids you get it is on BTs. It's covering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. It's I've Not never found the them useful, family, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. But yeah. Eh. There may well be hope for humanity. But yeah, dooms are like Sam, people with special abilities. No Ours is like not dying, right? America. I want to recover the past. Basically superheroes. Oh, it's almost time. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said then what? Well, guess we're not talking to Hartman anymore. That's weird. Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured oh, we got some mail. Oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received the mail is actually important to read. Addressed to you, and I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Yeah, we have clients, dude. We gotta manage our clients. As well as the terminal in your private room. Wacky, right? There's something else I'd like to share with you. <laughs> with the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Yeah. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and the way this room looks, it looks kind of. We'll be able to recover more and more information. It looks both cozy Such and not at the same time. It's really interesting. Logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost. Very sci-fi. Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some already. In fact, you can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting archives. Yeah. Might make for interesting reading. Yeah. <laughs> No? You don't like it? Nah, yeah, that's fine. That's probably true. Alright, let's look at the terminal then. What are you talking about? Alright, first we got our mail. What do we got? Sam the man! Our savior. Things are looking up here at the way station. Everything feels better somehow. We were all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed when we set ourselves up, but three years of isolation and loneliness... Loneliness will change anyone's tune. Hell, when we first got here, we were putting up science reporters and whatnot, but after a while, some guys got too scared to even set foot outside. When Central went up, I told myself this was it. America's done. Everyone was feeling it, too, and the mood was just bleak. And then you waltzed on in. I know you're, what you're thinking. At first, I thought it was just the oxytocin, too, but that's not it. Not all of it, anyway. Not all of it, anyhow. You gave us the glimmer of hope we need by bringing us into the chiral network. We're back in the game now. Been thinking of putting up signs again, even. Watchtowers, too. Before long, we'll be opening up new delivery routes. Mark my words. It's still scary out there, though. All the oxy in the world won't help us deal with mules, let alone BTs. <laughs> we shit ourselves every time we catch sight of one and end up dropping half of our equipment. Honestly, part of me is still a little worried that we won't be able to keep it up. And that's why we need you, Sam. You're not scared of anything, right? So go show us how it's done. Thanks, dude. How about this guy? Sorry, Sam. Bad news. Thanks for delivering those. Thanks for delivering those rare metals, Sam. Everyone at the Distro Center really appreciates you coming through for us. I'm. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, though. The bike you saw outside, its battery's dead. You have to give it some juice if you want to use it. Only need to do it once, though. Auto charger should kick in after. Sorry if we got your hopes up. And uh, I've got more bad news for you too. You see, different facilities have to work together, sharing materials so everyone gets what they need, and to make sure that everything that's produced gets put to proper use. That's why guys like you are so important. Without porters, the whole system falls apart. Whole world, even. Anyway, where's this guy? George Paton over at the weigh station. He used to be a reliable porter, but lately it's just like pulling teeth getting him to make even the simplest delivery. He keeps bitching about being scared or not having enough oxy or whatever. Always some excuse. Even when he does agree to make a run, he's liable to lose half his load en route. So yeah, that's why we're a bit short of materials at the moment. I'm sure you'll soon help us put that to rights. We're counting on you, Sam. Yeah, so we already gave them medals and stuff, so they're kind of already back on their feet. But that's fine. Data, we got the memory chip. So this is all like collectible stuff, so we can look at this. Whoa, it's a cool little robot. It's basically, um, Kojima likes these things collection. 
And these are like learning about stuff. I'll try to explain everything though on my own for you. Because I know a lot of stuff about this. Um, not everything, of course, but I know a decent amount. These are all like tips about the game. All that sort of stuff. Where is this archive thing that you're talking about? I don't see that, but... These are active orders, which we have none right now. And yeah. Cool. Can you check on BB as well? Oh. Sam, we've received a distress call from the distro center staff. Yep. Check the order on the delivery terminal as soon as you're ready. Ooh, a distress call. What? Check on BB real quick. Make sure you're good. Hello. How are you? Some intense music playing right now. I don't know why. We can't do anything. We'll change color scheme. Oh, we can change. We can change the hat. Forgot about that. I am going to make an omni reflector as well to match our glasses. Let's go. I think that's everything. I also am going to use the toilet while sitting, because that's how we roll. I just like the uh, the sound and the ad that pops up. It's a motor turd. Motored. <laughs> also, ride with Norman Reedus. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird, but okay. Sure. Norman Reedus even still making that show? It's Mads again. When he sounds a little mad, so uh, yeah. <laughs> that was so stupid. The woman in the mask has done nothing but lie to me. Hmm, weird stuff going on there, it seems. There is a really good payoff to everything we're seeing. But There's it something I forgot to tell you. Is it's much about managing your BB stress levels later. and reducing the risk of autotoxemic attacks. There are a few things you can do if your BB starts showing signs of distress. Yes. Such as of the stress. Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, gently rock it, that sort of thing. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? I think it's fine. Uh, before I answer that, something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, bleed through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A yeah. BB is harvested from its So we're learning about BB. Eight weeks and placed in a pot. To be clear, this is before it's, it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory system so it's not has born. matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. Yeah, that is something that's... essential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. That is the important bit of information there. to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Yeah, so that's something that is actually um, important to know, is that there are uh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is here for a reason, because I believe that's the f this is the first area we get one of the, uh, the Half-Life things happening. Um, but yeah, so... The fact that we don't know a lot about BBs is important. Nice. Yeah, I'd like to steal your property back. That sounds fun. Gladly. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have to do this, so... Ah, uh, yes. Uh, let's actually do this really quick. I want to do this first. So, this is something that we can do now. Um, I'm going to accept this one first before we start the other one with the mules. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. Thank you. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Well, it didn't... I, it just gave me one. I didn't have to fabricate one, so thank you. Yeah, I'm just gonna head out with this. Uh, I don't really need anything specifically at the moment. As the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Yeah. So we want to do this as soon as possible because chiral crystals are actually really important. <laughs> so you can't ignore this mission for long. Uh, uh, allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear goals to the naked eye and have frequently found in totally they're important. human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Mm -hmm. Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, yeah, you already know where to look. Alright, well, I mean, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for some Kyle crystals. And that's what we're gonna go in at... Get us some crystals, you know? <laughs> I like the bike sign. That's a new one as well. I like the new signs. They're good. I think that's like one of the like more, um, you know, not as talked about um, things about Weapons restrictions lifted. Uh, like the director's cut and stuff. You almost tripped on nothing. But yes, I think that's one of the more underutilized or under talked about things because of the fact that just having that little extra bit of communication is really great. Come on, Sam. 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 <laughs> Please go forward on the ladder. There we go. Did my ladder only go here? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Okay, so you can do a scan to get Kyle crystals. Um, a lot of these Kyle crystals are in the BT area. <laughs> but yeah. Almost there. Now this is all that's required, um, but I want to get a hundred. If possible. Um, there's some over here. So I'm going to go grab some. We should be fine. Um, there really isn't any BTs out here. But it's going to tell you otherwise. Oh, there is one there. He's right over there. I see him. He's like right there. See?
but a lot of them are right next to uh, BTs. Mind you, later on we'll be able to get Cairo Crystals a lot easier. And we'll just do that. We really don't need that many more. <laughs> we can pretty much do it, no problem. It's We don't need much more now. We'll, we'll get the rest, like, no problem. It'll be pretty easy to get Cairo Crystals later on. It's just, like, we want to complete the mission and get, like, the higher rating because we got more than we needed to get. Anyway, let's go to the BT area. There we go. Thanks. I'm aware. That stranding's to blame for all of this. The gazers, the fall of America, everything. It warped the world beyond recognition. The gazers the are the main version of uh, Death Stranding, or the BTs, sorry. There's no future living like this. If we're to survive, we need to find another They're the ones that just stay there and, like, look for you. The Death Stranding, the whole damn mess. So, yeah. Uh, there's other ones too. There's ones that move, and I think they're just called hunters, but I could be wrong. Yeah, so you gotta go to recycle, and then you can dump them. And you gotta do a hundred is the amount they want. There you go. And now we have a little bit for ourselves, um, which really, um, there's only like one or two things that really need it for ourselves, but it won't take long for us to just have like an endless amount or like a really high amount all the time. Got some chiral crystals for us? Yeah. These crystals only form in places with elevated chirillium levels. Yep. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. You're welcome. He only wanted one. Like one tiny little thing of crystals. But he's like, a hundred would be great though. But there's a hundred, dude. Yep. And distance doesn't matter for that one. There you go. Container repair spray. So that's really important. That is pretty obvious uh, what that does. Yeah, that's a third amount of chiral materials. Or recyclable materials. There's another one too, but we don't have that yet. Yep, yep, we're good. Alright, sweet. And we got the level 3. A little bit of extra bandwidth. So that is for PCCs. So the more PCCs we have set up, the more bandwidth is used by each one. So when we improve the bandwidth, we obviously have more to play around with. So that's why you want to level up. That's one of the more important reasons. Um, you can also get stuff from places when you upgrade them like that. Like extra, like, stuff. Or, or extra, you know, materials or... Um, extra PCC machines or extra... Um, typically it's like extra equipment to fabricate. So yeah. Useful stuff. Woo! What do you got for me? What do you got? What do you got? What? What is that? Oh, it's a container That's repair. Container Thanks. Repair spray for Thanks, dude. Cargo containers. Yeah. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Yay! Look at that. That's the main reason you need the cargo repair spray, because it uses some uh, chiralium to do that. Um, but we need chiral crystals for that. Uh, I'm going to place these in power grid locker right now, because I don't really need them for what I'm about to do. Um, but I will use them definitely on our uh, trip to the wind farm, but that's not what we're doing right now. There is a correlation between elevated chiralium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be yeah. the result of the network's expansion. You need to worry, though. Local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. 
If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. Yeah, basically, if, you if it's in your path crystals, and it's not super out of the way, which happens studies, quite often, just pick it up. Pick it up. Too, along with any items you don't need. If you do that, you'll always have it. And don't don't dump it into something like stupidly all the time, because then you'll lose it. But you don't really need to do that that much. Oh right, I have an order. I gotta I gotta attack the the mule. I gotta attack the mules. What do we have for uh, equipment? Oh yeah, right. We can't fabricate because there needs to be a thing recovered. Let's go. Let's do it. We can do it. Screw it. Uh, another PCC? Uh, I don't really want to... Alright, I don't want this many PCCs. <laughs> it's a little unnecessary. Uh, yeah, we'll just take the one with us. It's fine. What do we have on us? Oh, literally just a PCC. Um, no, we don't need a ladder. Not necessary. Um, the PCC is useful for one thing. Um, but really not that important, honestly. Okay, sweet. So yeah, we uh time to go steal some stuff. Emperor Dave was affected by your sign. One likes received. You're welcome, Emperor Dave. That uh That sounds really cryptic and weird. Alright. Yeah, so a lot of people would probably be like setting up um markers to places, especially this one, because it's not really clear where you go. But I know where we're going, so it's fine. Ooh, actually, we might need a ladder. Oops. Oh no, actually, there's a climbing anchor there, so we're fine. Thanks for whoever put a climbing anchor there. Yeah, so our only move against mules right now is punch, punch, kick. Um, which is fine, um, but they are way better at that. They can throw spears at us and stuff, so, yeah. Oh, there's a ladder and a climbing anchor here. Yeah. Thanks, dude, for putting your ladder here. Oh, these are both shared things. I got very lucky about this. Thanks, dude. I didn't want the rope. The, I wanted the ladder. If possible. Uh, you know what? This works, too. This works, too. <laughs> Remember, Sam, before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. Yeah, so I'm going to put a watchtower down. So the way to do that, it's pretty simple actually. Do this, same thing as the post box, but you switch your structure. And you get one of these. And you can see this blue circle, it shows you the radius of how much you can see. This is very useful. I'll put a watchtower here. Screw it. This is all kind of tutorial towers that are like structures that I put around so far other than the one post box, but other than that, everything else is kind of just like, oh yep. This is, they told me to do it, so I'm doing it. But. I want to be more helpful with my structures before, because really the only structures I put was like one particular structure that most people also put a lot of because they're very useful. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's use this watchtower. Very nice. Um, we can ascend. Somehow, there we go. It goes very high. Now you can zoom in. There's a mule. There's another mule down there. There's a mule right by the thing. That seems to be about it that we can see. They have cargo on them, but usually they do. Uh, there's some stuff we can grab there, like some metals. There's also a memory chip. So that's something of use. Um, I'm also going to place a marker there, just so we're able to know to get it. Apparently wants us to go up, but it's that's not really an efficient way to do that. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, 
Oh, well, that guy's got a climbing anchor on him, apparently. He's got boots, mule boots, which are not as good as our normal boots, so it's fine. Um, and then he's got metals, which is whatever. Yeah, anyway. So we don't have any weapons. Um, I realize you might have noticed that. Oh, by the way, we got a little pinger thing. Mule drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected so, is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. We only get pinged if um we only get pinged if we have cargo on us and we enter the area. The only way we actually get pinged. We don't have any. Um, which doesn't include like ladders or any materials like that, uh, then it will not ping. I think they made mem uh, memory chips easier to spot, by the way, because I had a heck of a time finding that. I had to get that like towards the end of my playthrough because I didn't even know it was there. But this time it's like super obvious. Okay, so I'm going to save it right here real quick. Just in case, but we should be fine. Oh, you can't save. Never mind. You used to be able to do that from my memory, but apparently we can't do that. So the tall grass hides us. Um, luckily, we're in a position where nobody's really around other than this guy. Yeah, so there's this guy right here. Um, we want to take him out, so there is a way to do this, which is this strand. And we can do this. That takes him out. We can take the climbing anchor. Screw it. We'll take that from him. So yeah. So you can do that to stealthily take people out. Or stealthily take people out. But really, it's not that important. Um, we'll take some mule boots. Screw it. <laughs> What are our normal boots at? 40% damage? Eh, not that bad yet. So that's the important one. So what do we have on our back right now? We have a climbing anchor. Eh, we don't really need that. Can we not put that back in there? Eh, yeah, we'll just have to offload it, I guess. Um, this is also lost cargo. We'll carry that. Lost cargo. Carry that on our back. A lot of arranges cargo, so it's a bit more efficient. There we go. Um, pretty good. We could take the mule boots. Um, it's not really practical to do. We have some other stuff to take on our way. So yeah, I think that's pretty good though. Um, yeah, see, they're, they're worse than our normal boots, so there's no reason to take them. I couldn't remember if they're better or worse. They're definitely worse. All right, cool. Well, we got a lot of stuff on us. We're gonna get out of here. Hey, Sap. Uh, we don't really need to crouch. We just need to, to walk on out of here now. Literally, these guys are like not even close to us. Actually, that guy's right there. He could see us if he turns the right way, but I don't think he does. But we're good. They're really not that hard. That's also a good sh sign, by the way. I don't like that. There you go. Get as many as you can. You're welcome. That is a very good uh, sign. Once you know mules are there. I mean, you know, you kind of know because the game tells you anyway, but it is good. It is good. Giving people info is really good. Really helpful. Got somebody's foot trail. 
footpath trail. That's what these are. I never really found reason in liking those. It's just where people walk. No, oh, that person is legend of legend. That guy either has taken over his save file or played a crap ton already. I imagine he's probably transferred his save file because you have to play a lot to be able to get to that amount already. But okay. Somebody put a shared post box right on the edge of the mule camp. That's hilarious. Alright, well. We're out of here. We got a lot of cargo. Um, but that's fine. The whole point of this is to have as much cargo as we can on our way back. Could we have stuck up on the other mules and got their stuff? Sure, but it's literally just 50 medals and boots. Not worth it. <laughs> Not worth it at all. Grab the rope. I'll grab the rope. We'll head on down. Try not to hit the ladder that's right next to it. Alright, release the rope. We're good. Alright. Mules. Damn addicts chasing a cargo high. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. Yeah. All we had to do was sit back and let them work. That's funny because we're kind of headed in that direction now, and that's totally kind of a stab of that. No reason for it not to take off, but it did. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. We made jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Yep. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next porter. Make sure you're not him. So this is a big footpath, so these paths are formed, formed by people walking here often. So, this is a big path because a lot of people go this way to go to the mule camp, so that's why there's one here. Um, but there are some big paths like this in like areas you wouldn't expect. At least in my playthrough there was. Obviously that's dependent on the server and the connections that you have with different people. Because you only get like a handful of people that are part of your world. I say handful, it's probably like a hundred people. But, you know, that's your hundred people that you're aligned with. Yeah, anyway. Got lots of cargo for you, and materials, and stuff. Gotta try to upgrade their, uh, their materials, you know? Gotta get them back on their feet. Alright. There we go. And we'll make the delivery. Actually, we'll recycle some materials first. Do that. Recycle. 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 And recycle. There you go. Look at that, we're doing really good in the materials front now. Way better than we were. This is better for you at the end of the day because you're probably going to be taking out materials for other things. Again, here it's not so important. But they were easy materials to collect, so figured we'd take them. And you get some likes for that, I think. No, you don't. Never mind. <laughs> I'm wrong. All right, first we'll do uh, the memory chip data. And then we'll do the lost cargo and then the requested cargo. I just about given up on this. I owe you one. No problem. The Seven Samurai. Is that the movie, The Seven Samurai? Thank you for your contribution. Good movie, actually. It's long, and I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. Can I do all of this? Is this all of this at the same time? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's what I figured. I'm like, usually when you have Lost Cargo and that, you don't need to do just Lost Cargo, but... We're good, we're good. Ah, time to get that chiral printer in working order. 
Yeah. Sorry to put you through so much trouble, but trust me, it'll be worth <laughs> it. I believe you. Excellent. The unit doesn't have a scratch on it. Never doubted you'd come Damn to right. Us. That whole strand mechanic we probably won't use much from my memory, but you know, whatever. I think we're gonna get a lot out of this. Ah, we can make our own boots now. Not too well. They're all right. Conditions being what they are out there. Yeah. Ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. Yeah. Have arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. They already give you an extra pair, so it's kind of redundant, but whatever. By a terminal at one of our many facilities. This is just level one boots we can get, I believe, up to level three. Ah, yes, a bridge to the PCC. These are cool, but they take a lot of materials. This is one of the reasons you want materials. I don't build a lot of them myself, but they're good. All right, we're definitely not getting to level four on this because I forgot that this distribution center barely levels up whenever you do anything for it. Watch, watch the little tiny boop. <laughs> barely anything. All right, we're good. We're not leveling up yet. I think the next one's 45. Weird intervals, but yeah. I understand you now have access to a Cairo printer. I do. Enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network. The chiral network's a time machine. It's like the only time they mention that. Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are it do. The reward does outweigh the risk. Being able to like make anything you need is very nice to have. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Yeah, no problem. Well, new order available. there you go. So we have new orders. For uh, I don't know. Hello? Oh yeah, you can do that at any time, by the way. Uh, I wanted to see if there was mail. No, so we don't have any mail. But the Half-Life stuff yet, I was wondering about that. What orders do we have? We have construction bridge, so we do have a thing to do. Ooh. Cargo discovered in the ruined factory. Oh? That's new. Mazer gun recommended. We do not have that. What is a Mazer gun? That's new. This is new. In the ruined factory. Cargo discovered in the ruined factory. What is that about? That's new. Oh, I want to do it, but I don't have this Mazer gun that I need. Okay. That's fine. It says recommended. It's not needed, but I'm not going to do it if we can't do it. Okay, this is the main one. What is this? It's a bridge. I'll do it. Screw it. We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. The bridge Give is good, but it, it is big and massive, and it's cool, but it's like you really need to make sure that you have a reason for it. You know, it needs to really be, like, justified. And you need to be able to bring all the materials to where you're going to put it. Um, okay, so, carry on back. Uh... Yeah, these are the materials for it. So it needs 400 metals for a bridge, which is insane. 
And did, did they not give us a PCC? They didn't. What? What are you doing? <laughs> oh wait, is there some in our private locker? I think there is. Oh yeah, it's not open, that's why. Come on, there we go. PCC, there we go. Okay. Let's confirm that. Let's head out. Let's build us a bridge. Order assigned. We still have the, the strand out. There we go. We had the strand out the whole time, I didn't even realize. That's fine. It, it worked for us. Okay, Sam. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. Once again, a building we're required to make. That's fine. Oh. They already had a bridge here. I just need to put the materials in. Oops. Well. That's fine. Hey, I was thinking ahead, though. I didn't think they put one here yet. Hello, robot. Looks like you found the site. You should be a terminal nearby. Access. You have to hold down a different button for a structure menu. For some reason, I don't know why. You have to hold down start for the structure. But yeah, so. I don't know why I made a bunch of those weird sounds, but okay. Uh, add materials, add materials, and there you go. We're good. You can see your materials on the right side there. Um, and there's three different levels of them, so that's really cool. You can't build, like with the, um, with any of these things that you can fabricate, and everything has like higher levels, but you need to have the right materials for it to do it. So we can make this level two and level three right now, we just have to have the materials. I don't think we actually can, because I think there's one set of materials we don't have yet, so it's fine, but later on we'll be able to. There you go. <laughs> Distance traveled. Doesn't really matter. We nailed the bridge building. We barely did anything, but it's fine. We can get an upgrade for this. <laughs> Almost, actually. That's funny. There you go. There's a bridge. This is a very useful one, too. You can be sure that every traveler in Porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye out for other spots that could be a well placed bridge. Now, we could have just taken the order that we needed to to the wind farm and done that, like, all in one, but. I wanted to make sure I didn't screw up the other order while doing that. Um, yeah. I might actually leave it here for tonight, because we've been going for two and a half hours and I already streamed earlier today. Sam, got a new order for you. Yeah. Another delivery to make and a knot to link up. Yeah, I got Check you. The terminal when you have a moment. I'm aware. Is there anything about resting in the private room right now? Ooh, there is. Let's do that real quick, because there might be the half-life thing that comes up right now. Cause I know it's around this area, I just don't know if it's post wind farm or before wind farm. Because if it's before wind farm, then I might do it. I also don't want to do the wind farm right now, but, you know. I do want to do the wind farm, obviously. I want to... It's just, it's stressful. It's BTs, it's like, really bad environment. Bunch of crap. Time passed while you're sleeping. That usually happens. I always found that really funny. It, it's, it's good to know, because there are consequences of time passing, but... It is just kind of funny. Um, okay, so we didn't get any mail, so I don't think the half-life stuff's happening yet, which is fine. Whatever, dude. But yeah. All right, so for now, oh, I actually have to go to the terminal to save. Oops, I forgot about that. I was like, why can't I say? It? Oh, right, yeah. It's here. Uh, yeah. Nice. All right, well, with that, I think uh, that is basically what I'm going to leave it at to today. I don't know when the next stream of this is going to be, but uh, next we'll have the wind farm, and we'll have the uh, next area from that. We'll have Port Knot City after that. Um, well, 
we will, but not immediately. Anyway, we have stuff to do. Um, I like a lot of stuff in this game. I think the next stream of this will be really, really fun. There's a lot of like intense stuff next time. Um, and that's where it really picks up. And then after that, it's definitely more of a, a dive into the game that's a little bit more um, of a, a better showcase of what this game is in the long term. I think right now it's it's still kind of in the tutorial-esque state. Um, and that kind of exits it pretty quickly um, from this point on. Um, or not quickly, but it starts to kind of give you more of a taste of it. And then it's like really into the game. Um, but it's still... This is pretty accurate to what most of the game is, you know, doing deliveries and, and planning out your routes and everything. And so, yeah, I want to be, I, I advocate for this game because I really, really like it. It's just, it's not, don't go into it expecting it to be like the same kind of feeling of a normal game. Kind of go into it thinking it's sort of this like thing where you just, you have to be very like, you know, patient with it and really let it like, you know, don't try to rush through it. You'll enjoy it more that way. Um, and it's, yeah. It's just the way it is. It just it, it's better that way, in my opinion. So, anyway, um, I think that's going to be everything for today. Um, I really appreciate you guys uh, that you know come to watch these streams or anything like that. And I appreciate uh, you know if you're watching this after the fact, um, likely on YouTube, because I don't know how this uh, how the vods on Twitch are going to handle uh, <laughs> any of the music or anything. We haven't had any music really in this stream, but uh, we did. In the first um so i don't know how that's all going to be handled hopefully it's fine um but uh, if it's not then it's not um so hopefully on youtube it's not as big of a deal in that scenario um but anyway again thank you guys so much for uh support on everything and uh yeah more just stranding in the future more kirby in the future more uh hopefully sam and max in the future or you know starting that in the future at some point as well um, those are kind of the future plans for now. Again, if you do have something you want me to play in particularly, or in particular, wording, I'm great at it. Um, if you have anything you want me to play in particular, though, let me know. Message me on Twitter. Tweet at me on Twitter. Put it in the Discord. Actually, that's probably the best place to put it. Uh, and just kind of message the Discord. Kind of give me your recommendations. Um, we have both a sub chat and a general chat there. And, uh, yeah, you know, slip something in there. I'll, I'll definitely check it out. And uh, maybe I'll play it on stream. Maybe, <laughs> I might not if it's if it's kind of crap. I'm just being honest. <laughs> but uh, I, I trust your recommendations. I trust your recommendations. Um, so yeah, you know, if you have anything for that, uh, definitely let me know. I want to check that stuff out. I do want to do Dead Space 3 at some point. It is a game that I played, but I played it a long time ago. Uh, never really played the first or second Dead Space too much. I knew a bit about the second Dead Space a little bit. Um, the people talked about it so much online during its era of existing and YouTube and everything. It was a really like popular thing to talk about. Um, so I, I, I know some stuff, or I knew some stuff before playing it, um, but I didn't know everything. And Dead Space, the original Dead Space, I really didn't know much about other than like the opening a little bit that I had seen before. But other than that, I didn't know much about it, so um, I'm happy that we played both of those. Um, but I, I played Death Str or Death Stranding, Dead Space Three. Um, you know, like months or you know a couple of years before I ever did the streams of them. Well, I say a couple of years. It was probably actually much longer than that. I probably played. I think the original Death uh, or Dead Space Three playthrough I did was like 2013. It was co-op with a friend of mine at the time, um, and yeah. So that's when I played that, and then I streamed them, like, what, a year ago, maybe, for Dead Space? Maybe not even a year ago for the Dead Space streams? I don't think it was a year ago, so... It feels like it's not that long, but it probably ends up being that long. Everything is longer than it always feels for me, so I just guess it's a year. It's probably only been, like, half a year at the most. But uh, I'm happy you played those, so I do want to get to Dead Space 3 still, though, because it's been a while since i played it. I've never played it single player, and now that I know... The story elements of one and two playing three i think will have more of an impact to me maybe for the better maybe for the worse who knows um i know some people uh, or a good chunk of people don't like dead space three compared to one and two because it's really action focused versus the horror um which is fair a lot of the horror stuff is in the co-op missions um which i just know because i have played those um but it's not as scary because it's co-op right 
So you're not as like into being into something being scary because of that. Uh, but there is one thing in the co-op that's cool that I like where like as the one character, I forget the one guy, there's Isaac and then there's the other guy and I forget his name. Um, one person is just like freaking out um, and seeing visions of the marker and going crazy and doing this whole like fight in this like marker world. But, but if you're playing as Isaac, you're seeing it all normally. So you don't see any sort of, you're basically fighting a whole different set of enemies in the same space, but one is like the marker world, the other one's not. And so that's kind of the most scary you can get with being co-op because you're both having separate experiences. But like every other thing is basically like not as scary because you're just you're with another person and you know it diminishes the fear factor a little bit. So whatever. So I think playing it on your own, you obviously can't play the co-op missions because you're <laughs> you're not playing a co-op. But I think the general like storyline of the game would be okay. Ah, oh, he's chillaxing. I'm boring. I'm boring. I'm boring. Uh, say I'm out. But uh, anyway, yeah. Um, I'm going to leave it there, though, for the stream tonight. Sorry, I kind of went on a ramble about Dead Space. I do want to play that at some point, though. Uh, Dead Space 3 and the remake, whenever that comes out, too. Because um, it seems like they're actually putting in some really good work there. Hopefully they don't ruin it with any microtransactions or anything like that, EA. But anyway, um, that's everything. Thank you guys again. Uh, stream, next stream, I don't know when it'll be. Friday at the earliest. Um, probably won't be Friday, but we'll see. Um, if it is Friday, it'll probably be more Kirby, but it could be more Death Stranding. Who knows? And, uh, yeah. Either way, everything for me. Thank you guys again. And I will see you whenever the next stream is. Check my Twitter. Check my Discord. That's when you'll... See you guys. I always forget where the button is. My gosh. <laughs> see ya.